with Froggy, and I think your Jaden and the other is, is doing it on your screen. Who? Oh, except Jaden's gonna be late. So you and Yellow for the meantime. Yellow, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I managed to whip something up. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah. Track. Um. Yeah, it's actually working. Yeah, I would say, Froggy, if you if you have the option, um, turn it into a, a separate pop out window. Um, I think you can right click it and then you can go to like a uh, projector window or something like that. Um, like right click the actual image itself. Window. It just means that we don't have like the, the mini feed in the um, yeah, uh, go down the bottom and stuff like that. Uh, stream output projector. I think it's the I... one down the bottom there. It just pop out as a separate window. I'm pretty sure that's the one. It should create like a separate window and then you can uh, you can just uh, stream like that window it. instead. Yeah. So, wait, where's yellow? So, you just like, yeah, swap your um, stream on Discord. It was here before. That window instead. It was here before. Yeah. I'm sure you can just ping him in. Oh. Yeah. In tournament organizers. Uh, Ooh. whoa. What was that? Oh, oh, there we go. Hey, there we go. Awesome. Oh, wait. How does that happen? Lovely. So it seems he kind of voice and uh, stream on at the same time. That's odd. What? Like, I mean, oh, no. can't... I, I, he I don't know. His mic on. Yeah, he didn't have he didn't have his mic on before, but it's working now. So yeah. Um. Yum versus Andrew. Okay. So one thing is, Andrew, oh, we're straight into it. My goodness. Yeah, we're straight into it. We're actually playing. Oh. No. <laughs> also, um. Well, jeez, ladies and freaking gentlemen, let's get into it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I, <laughs> Go! You need to change the name, by the way, bro. Oh no, you're doing it. As, as it happens, we're gonna be. I win this round one best of five. <laughs> what? Wait, what's the matchup here? Yeah, I'm an uh, Andrew. That's the three. I'm bracket. Yeah. He's, uh, cool. So, one thing to mention here, Andrew uh, actually uh, secondary is loud as well. So he could have. I, I'd say he have a bunch of knowledge still from that. Mm. Yeah, no, fair enough. I think yeah, Andrew's yeah. Andrew's just been uh, dabbling in a lot of stuff, especially uh, now that online's been going on, because he's he's had the inkling going for, for yeah. forever um, offline. Yeah. But I think when it comes to anything online, he's what he's been messing around with a bunch of different characters. Like last yeah, time I played against him, he had a fox as well, so that yeah. was kind of crazy. Um, but I mean, regardless of what the what the character's like, is Yum's kind of yeah. running away with it for now. Thirty eight yeah, on, on inkling. Like strapping him really well. Though. Oh, the F tilt. Yeah. I think he got caught by the neutral beam, and it kind of like, he tried to run back, but it didn't work, but it ended <laughs> out in his favor anyway. It's good as well, Yum isn't, uh, isn't falling for any of the tactics that Andrew has usually employed for a lot of uh, a lot of weeklies. He just goes along with the yeah. um, immediate neutral beam straight up into a grab or a jab or something like that to try and force oh, yeah. the opponent to drop shield, but Yum's just running away, or yeah. jumping if he needs to. So yeah. immediately he knows what to do there. So Andrew's gonna have to do something crazy, but there you go, that's that's all yeah. you needed. Just a little cheeky there, Good and he comes down to the count. Alright, nice catch and jump. jump. Beautiful. Yeah. Alright, nice. <laughs> bit, bit, of a, bit of a dash chance, just... Yeah. Able, able <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I think Yum's movement is one of the reasons that he has really nice placements. Mm. Because he kind of pressures them. Like even now, he's like he's covering them. He's covering like half the options. Yeah, like, for he's sure. Just and jumping a ledge. Yeah, and it definitely it definitely uh, it works out with Cloud as well. Um, being obviously such a strong character on Wi-Fi, but also just being such a character with such large hitboxes too. Yeah. So, I mean, you, you kind of can cover multiple uh, options at the same time just by chucking up forward air, chucking up back air as well, being such yeah. a fast move as well. And just having that constant pressure of limit, even if he's not actively charging it, like it's always going to be yeah, going true. Up. And it, especially if you have the lead and mm. charge limit, and then he'll yeah. you. Exactly right. So. Yeah. But meanwhile, I feel like Inkling, 
despite the fact that I'm pretty sure... Oh, they might actually be more or less the same way, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, uh, Inkling is gonna be, like, the, the, the tradition, like, the traditional idea is Inkling has trouble killing. Um, I don't know, I think against Cloud, yeah. Imps are gonna be especially, much more likely. Especially on Wi-Fi, but yeah, against Cloud, um, for sure, as guards and Imps. Hmm. Andrew just kind of, honestly, chucking the whole kitchen sink at Yum just to try and find enough damage to yeah. kill. My lord, that shield damage from the side B was actually kind of big. Yeah. Don't, you don't really expect it to hit twice on shield. No, it's like 50 frames or something to read it. Right. I mean, it's such an intimidating move, especially when you've got a, when you found, uh, found your opponent at a kill percent as well. Yeah, that is well. Get hit by the door. Oh, he almost rolled like straight into it there. That yeah, was super unfortunate. Whether or not Andrew had the read, read or something, I'm not sure. But yeah, it didn't work out for or him. he wanted to give what it might land or something. Yeah. Mm. But, yeah. Really close. But again, with what you said, oh, like, Yum's yeah, movement is pressure, super like his... intimidating. Oh, it's <laughs> just covering the combat. It's just keeping him in the corner so well. Mm. Oh, no. Again, uh, catching uh, that roll away. Yeah. He's like... Whoa. He's, he's just so cool. intimidating. And then it, he, like, knows when, you, when you're just scared of him. And <laughs> it'll, just, it'll just hit you. Yeah, that's that's one thing as well, to, to have that movement and to be intimidating to your opponent, but also to know exactly what buttons your opponent might want to press as well. Yeah. Like, especially given that pressure that he was, he was applying. That was, that was super, super smart. Man. Super, yeah, super wrinkly brain there from Yum. Phenomenal. <laughs> so he's going to take game number one. Uh, pretty, honestly, pretty yeah. convincingly. If I'm, yeah, that honest. was pretty, pretty small stage as well. So I think it, it didn't really give yeah. Inkling many places to run. Um, so FD and Kalos are going to be coming out for the bands for game number two from Yum. So let's see what uh, Andrew Lin's going to bring out here. PS2. It's going to be the choice. Yeah, I think the wider stage will definitely help. And also, mm. um, I think uh, having like Battlefield or SV, for example, um, you have that like middle platform, which really mm. helps play out juggle. Oh, switching to the wolf. Alrighty, yeah, something, something just with a little bit more of a little bit more meat on the bones, I guess. Yeah. Three, two, one. I think if you can find some cheeky little ledge traps with Wolf, get a Gimp on Cloud, that's uh, first off much easier yeah. okay, than, than Inkling, but second off, I mean, I think just the, the bread and butter combos from uh, Wolf just seem to be a lot more, yeah. a lot more reliable, I'd say. Yeah, and probably put him in like a better position hmm. Yeah, sure. But, I mean, so, oh, I guess, up. yeah, cheeky, cheeky there. Finding the back air is all yeah. under. Oh, recovery. <laughs> I think that might have been a few frames, but that was, that was pretty crazy. Damn. I guess that's the only downside to Wolf compared to Inkling. The recovery's got to be a yeah. lot easier to get, or at least a, a lot easier to get yeah. your skill from. It's a lot easier to, like, he can't get back as easy. <laughs> Plus, it's a lot easier to two frame, like, side B and stuff, if he has to recover horizontally. Oh, oh that is, that's super important. Getting stuck, yeah. Might be the extra extra bonus drift of uh of limit there. And also the yeah. upbeat, I think it has a huge amount of drift when you uh when you start it up too. So you can you can really really kind of mess yourself up with that if you're not paying attention. Oh, catching that landing really well. The up tilt. First time I've seen the neutral open fired in a hot, hot minute. <laughs> um, but it's still a move. God, again, this time he's, he's going for the draw up back airs instead. Four days old news. That was game one. Game two, all back airs. Alright, burning the limit for nothing, oh, fighting a his... forward smash too. Yeah, catching his tech, yeah. Close. Yeah, I mean, this... this... Character in Wolf is definitely a character who can really throw out smash attacks just for footsies, honestly. Yeah. It's uh, like Wolf and Mario, I think, are the two ones that come to mind. So it's, it's a yeah, very, definitely. very strange character to watch. 
Surely that was a... Uh, that could be it. Yeah, that'll be yeah. it. The that's same thing may be a rollback or a death back. Yeah, exactly. Got a little too desperate. Yeah. I mean, if your opponent knows that you're going to be swinging for the fences as well, I mean, surely he's holding shield for a little bit. Cloud doesn't get a huge amount out of his throws yeah. anyway. Yeah, no, he doesn't. Not at all. They don't kill, like, the way later. Mm. Okay, look for the ledge trump comes out. Yeah, ledge trump. Um... Cloud's ledge trump looks so cool, though. I think, again, like, back to Mario as well. So, oh, great catch of the jump. See yeah, you later. Great. Um, but yeah, it's so easy to go for those ledge trumps. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Waiting for something? No, nothing's coming through. Andrew definitely has a, a, a pretty decent lead here compared to game one. Yeah, uh, he definitely Cloud, does. Cloud has the options now that he's got limit as well. Limit though, yeah. Could build up the damage. Again, Oop, catching yep, his that'll do it. He, he's catching this movement super, super well. Yeah. I think he's starting to adapt to the jumping model because mm. Andrew seems to be jumping more instead of just trying to pass back on the ground. Okay, there you go, down tilt. One of the faster options, and just uh, getting a bit of decent damage in. Yeah. Okay, he really, really wants that up smash. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Something tells me. Maybe it's the four up smashes <laughs> we've thrown out in the last couple of seconds. Oh, oh almost has to Yeah, the next hit's gonna do it. Honestly, 150. Anything's yeah. gonna kill for all. Oh, that was so close. And the neutral get up. Keep him in the corner. Close, just resetting neutral. <laughs> uh, yeah, reading that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. He's reading yeah. that roll out again. Oh, good grab. Yep. Condition him in the shield a bit more. So. Oh, oh I jump. Get up. Yeah. I'm getting caught by that anytime soon. Oh, good spacing on the board out there. Oh my lord! Again, I think they've they've set a couple of buttons to roll here. Jesus. Gone everywhere. Wow, yeah. Andrews is really oh. struggling. Oh, that was so good. So clean. That's a beautiful play. Yeah. There. And the fact that he actually got that ledge drop, uh, that was such beautiful timing. Yeah, it really uh, I mean, was. It, it seems like a, a, a ledge trump that could definitely be messed up pretty easily, considering, first off, it's, it's actually yeah. surprisingly fast. Um, yeah, it is. Second of all, you know, the B reverse up B. I mean, that, yeah. that, that, that's a lot of buttons. It's up B, bat you in reverse. <laughs> yeah. So, God knows how he does it. But, I, I mean, look, that's why it's the, it's the Wi Fi Championship. It's the invitation. Yeah, it is. You mess can't stuff up. Yeah. yeah if, if you mess up, then what are you doing in this 32 man invitation? Honestly. Exactly. But, so, where are we going to be seeing that in the old bracket? Uh, Andrew Lin. Yeah, Yum going to be going on against the winner of Lone Zen and Snap. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, Andrew going to be dropping down. Man, oh man. Alright, so and with that as well, I think we're going to be shifting to uh, another match on Winners yeah. Round 1. Goon vs. Gravity. Yeah. Man, so, that... with... Oh, you go. Oh, I was just going to say, it sounds, sounds like a... Sounds like a pretty pretty classic, uh... What, what do they call it? Goon of Fortune? That's, that's exactly how it works. <laughs> Go, it's just Goon vs. <laughs> gravity. And then you just add a person. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. regardless. So right. it'll be Ridley versus Robin. So mm -hmm. I feel like Robin will definitely be comboing Goon like a lot. Like Robin will be comboing Ridley a lot. Mm. So we might see the hero come out possibly as well from Goon because he actually secondary is a uh, hero as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, Especially considering Ridley's a big body, so it's easier to land like arc fire and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and especially if, if gravity has those combos on points as well, like any heavy is gotta be scared, or at yeah, least any big body take, in general. You're taking like 50 damage from one interaction. Yeah, pretty much if they have 11. So yeah, at the same time, I, I would I would definitely say that uh, Ridley's ability to edge guard. Um, Robin would yeah, probably Robin be a little would bit be stronger. Good. Yeah, true. Um, but regardless, Gravity gonna be swapping for the Robin and Goon going in for the hero for, uh, for yeah. round or game number one. Um, 
And so the winner of this as well is going to be going up against Chisel actually, because yeah. Jorno69 had to, had to dip. Yeah. Um, the 32 person just became a 32, 31. Yeah, 31. And, uh, there you go. Um, so Chisel already sitting pretty in a rest. Can't rest on his laurels yet just because he's got a 100% win rate for this tournament. <laughs> um, but I don't know, Goon and Gravity, let's see what's going to happen. 0% lose rate. Yeah, I mean, object he could, he could DQ right now, and I think they would just, you know, put him at first. Yep. <laughs> I mean, if, if he didn't lose, then, I mean, who could beat him? <laughs> who knows? But let's see. What do we have to ban here? So, Goon's going to ban Smashville and FD. Um, so, it doesn't want to... It doesn't want to get ledge trapped, I would say, by, by a Robin. Um, which I think, honestly, is yeah. fair enough. Smashville, I think, is a little bit more neutral. FD, definitely scary against Robin. Um, yeah. But meanwhile, so we're going to town and city, so a nice large stage. Um, po you know, hopefully both players can kind of Two, feel each other out. One, um, let's see how go. it all goes. I think it's also the first town and city we've seen so far, so, you know, it's always uh, nice yeah. to see a bit of variety. Um, it's like up on deck. Yeah, I, I feel like this is going to be a, yeah, it's going to be a pretty, a pretty menu-heavy match for uh, for Hero, if, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Because I mean, both, yeah. both characters kind of want to do as much setup as like possible. Like back and yeah, set up. And I mean, look, when, when Goon gets close, the only thing he's really going to go for is honestly jab, I guess. Maybe F tilt. But it's, he, Hero doesn't have many uh, great, you know, neutral interactions. Yeah. He kind of wants to sit back and, and let the magic happen. Oh, there we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was good. I really wanted to go for an up there as well. He wanted to try and snake it, 102. <laughs> Alright, Sizzle, you Oh, the F smash, yeah. I think that would have broken his shield as well if he could have it. Yeah, I wholeheartedly agree, that would have been dangerous. Oh no, gravity has to approach. What's he gonna do? Yeah. And he has. He like, can't use his projectile, so. Exactly right. Okay, what, what are you supposed to do? Gee, oh my oh. god, Goon, please. <laughs> Almost. He's scary. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they oh, actually, he actually caught out that blue charge. Yeah. Damn. He would have died. Absolutely. He would have died at about 50, honestly. Okay. Oh, okay. be reversing the arc fire. Oh, that was a good tag. Man, if that was, if that was going to be the setup into the kill, a metal slash that does like 1%. <laughs> Yeah. Metal flash to death. Could you imagine? <laughs> is it true? No. Is it cool? Absolutely. <laughs> right, looking is for that back here. <laughs> is it just? Yeah. Oh God, yes. <laughs> right, throw. Honestly, one of the coolest animations Look. in the game. Oh, God, that would have been. Him. That would have been it. No Elwin left, so Let's see if he gets back. Oh, he got it back. Oh, he got one. Oh, nice. Elwin. Yeah, clean forward out. Catching him. Oh no, alright. Goon's kind of assembling the infinity stones between stars. <laughs> he is. That could be invincibility stuff from Mario Bros. Oh my god, alright, no, but it's all gone. Right. Yeah. The Avengers stole it back. I, I think gravity really just has to get the lead and then maintain it to kind of. if he wants to get the win here. Yeah, I mean, if you if you have any opportunity to force heroes to approach, you have to take it. Um, yeah. And especially with a projectile-heavy character like Robin, I mean, there's going to be very, very few options yeah. to force uh, to approach. Oh, big damage. Good hot dodge down smash. Oh, can't do it. Almost yeah. dead. You can't hold onto a platform for too long, otherwise that Kaboom will get you. Yeah. Just suck him straight down. And Goon doesn't really have much in the way of uh, mana as well, actually, so he's going to have to Oh build yeah, he's done run out. He has a whole number stock though as well, so... That's true. It's not too bad. Oh uh, no, it doesn't have the Levin Sword on it. Oh! Ooh. Uh, oh, okay, here I we go. <laughs> I, 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 I thought for a second... Oh, I could see it later. I honestly yeah, thought he got died. caught for a second. Yeah. Strange way to uh, indicate he lost his stock. Just by nothing happening, but there you go. <laughs> yeah. So game number one, going to H-E-R-O, there you go. So the Ridley not coming out, and uh, honestly, it's probably for the better. Yeah. Um, 
But meanwhile, Goon is going to be banning uh, FD in Smashville again. So Gravity wants to go up into space. Lilac. He's going to go to Lila. Huge. So I'm um, thinking maybe more... If he can get the lead and then get him off stage, then he can probably quite easily two frame Zero, I want to say. Mm. But we're or actually like, we're going to be seeing a swap though instead. Oh, it's swap Inkling. Okay. Swap into the Inkling. That's kind of huge. I, I didn't even realize Gravity was playing Inkling. That's huge. Yeah, pure. It looks like it, it looks like it was pure Robin at least for a lot of the online stuff. But Inkling is yeah. coming out to play for game number two. I don't know. Have we seen much of uh, Gravity's Inkling online? Um, I Three, I haven't. Two, but. One, go! I mean, this is this is this is huge. Then it's it's the first for everybody. If even Gravity has never I played the pack, then. June has. I mean, Gravity has. If, if they're pulling it out, they probably have me. Yeah. I mean, look. In all honesty, look. Their Discord profile picture, their Smash Bros icon, both Inkling. Yeah. So I surely hope that they play Inkling. Alright, that drop down forward air. The weakest down air I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah. The, the sour spot at 30 is He's basically got the lead, so. That's true, that's actually, that's definitely a good point. Um, but then rising with that forward air, it's. Yeah. Like, close a little bit. Oh, okay, well, oh, I don't know what the, I don't yeah. know what the plan was. Okay. Yeah. Honestly, maybe it looking for a really, really heavy stop trade. Yeah. Maybe just, like, looking for the positive. Because he was behind, so it would have been one. Oop. Well, uh -huh. Okay. Uh... <laughs> 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 um, <Right>. Sure. <laughs> I, I'm Will we get sure a third saw... one? Is the real question. I'm pretty sure I just saw Goon type in the, uh, in, the in the stream chat for a hot Wait, second. Wait, did he? I, I I think I saw the F word for a split second, but I think he's uh -huh. deleted. <laughs> Wait, no, it'll be deleted by the point. Oh, okay. That's, oh, that's probably why then. <laughs> yeah, look. He did. <laughs> he did. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. Look. You might have saw, uh, seen the, uh, the cane. He's like, oh, the crackle slash, it's time to free. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, that's a big threat right there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Alright, but Hero still has a little bit of ink on him. Not much, though. Uh, gravity? Yeah. Speaking of, looking to try and maybe add on a bit more before we can find a kill here. Oh, looking what is for the... Going, looking for the early... Oh, uh, on Packing on some damage. Yeah. Whack. Ooh, just take under it. profiling under it. Yeah. yeah. Those flames Honestly, definitely help you. Roll. Zoom? No? Nothing to... I, I always like the fact that no matter what happens, uh, your opponent, if you're playing as hero, oh, great down smash. Your opponent, yeah. if you're playing as hero, is always going to try and catch your opponent. Like, without, without a doubt. Yeah. Like, they'll jump up, they'll chuck out their stupidest move. They're like, oh, this will be sick <laughs> if it makes it a clip. And then, like, they land on the other side, and then they're like, oh, oh okay. Yeah. Unlucky. Well, I mean, it, it's worth it because, like, you have, like, three, three possibilities to cover. Mm. And then, if you don't hit it, it's pretty much just resetting the control. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. So it's kind of worth it, because like they're gonna reset you to leave away. Pretty mm. much. Well, look, if I'm playing Luigi, it doesn't stop me from double jump up being. Just if I see <laughs> if I'm like he's, he's coming down, I'm gonna jump, I'm gonna up him. Something's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm either gonna put myself in about four seconds of lag, or <laughs> or they're gonna die. And you know what? I think which one's cooler? It's definitely it's definitely the, the mad stuff. <laughs> Does it work? Done. Does it matter? Yeah, probably. It should. It does matter because the clips matter. <laughs> That's true. That's a good point. Need the clips. Right. We're sticking with the inkling though for game number yeah. three. three two, Back to town. Oh, what? Go! Did we go to town since the first game? Yeah, we did. Guess so. Well, I mean, if, hey, if they're happy with it, then, then yeah. we're happy with it. Well, it, it's not um, DSR, so it's fine. Oh, even better. Um, alright, a bit more damage this time coming out, Ooh, and just getting him with in. everything. And bounce on deck now. Yeah, I think if, if I'm not mistaken, that does just mean, except except for jab, I think there's no other way of uh, getting ink on them. Or down smash, no, never mind. Yeah, Inkling, Inkling yeah. still has options. That's, uh, that's actually a pretty interesting part of this matchup here, is 
Like, the Inkling doesn't get that affected by, uh... Yeah. Too quickly. You, you just have to sacrifice a couple things, but... Not super effective. Hmm. I'll just go for the Gentleman's. That's, uh, that's not yeah. right. Oh, Oop, and gets a huge yeah. punish for it. Bounce back on. A throw up there. Just attack on some damage. No jump. Oh no, I kept his jump. That was good. <laughs> that was just... Knocking back to the... Yeah, just ignoring this platform. Doesn't really want to worry about it. <laughs> yeah. It's actually great in ledge trapping as well. It's just on. A, it's one less thing to worry about, and it's such yeah. a great ledge. It's such a great ledge trapping tool for Inkling as well. Yeah, definitely. Go for the hatchet, man. Do it. You wouldn't. Ah, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, he didn't. Every every single time the Kamikaze shows up on his menu as well, my heart skips a beat. I'm just thinking. especially now that he's got the lead. Like, what what's he got to lose? Other than a stock yeah. I got. Okay. No reaction from gravity. Oh, jumping. Oh, no, yeah, good, good end up. Okay, it's put Goon in a little bit of a bad spot, but that back air still gave him 15 to 16 mana. Oh, yeah, we go. It. Yeah. Right, <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's not. He doesn't want to take any chances. Yeah. Well, I mean, one flat bomb will probably, like a lead, probably kill him. Close. Mm. Close to it. Oh, just missing the punish. It's a nice drift in by Goon as well to try and bait out something uh, for gravity to throw yeah. out. Yeah. Drift him back. Oh, oh, oh there he goes! Oh, uh, bad luck. Yep. Three stuff. That was, that was pretty convincing, if I'm being honest. Yeah, definitely. The hero, yeah, paying an absolute dividends. I wonder, is this going to be a full hero run? Um. I feel like some matchups probably not. Um, just because he probably feels confident in some, mm. like with Ridley more so. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, Ridley's yeah. definitely a, a pretty pretty powerful option. Uh, yeah, and definitely. So, what did they change about Ridley as well in most recent patches? They made it so that um, the down throw to down B isn't. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's, there's no. There's it no isn't a knockdown. Control. There's no knockdown. Yeah, the damage if still happened for some reason. Yeah, the, da right. <laughs> the damage still happened, but just doesn't knock them down. So you get a free punish, I guess. Mm. Well, I mean, if you if you still get hit, and I think it does slightly more damage though. So if you get um, hit by the down throw down B, or maybe I might be wrong, but I, I think I think they changed it. I don't but, know. But I mean, either way, the fact that the down throw down B obviously very much an untrue combo. Um, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> punished but they've still taken seven so i mean <laughs> is it free what what did they actually we're gonna be watching turn up the sluggy oh okay. so another cloud mm. um don't know who turn up's gonna play i think that's always the that's always the yeah. role of that, he's been playing some ness a little bit online um but apart from that i don't not really sure. Hmm. Yeah, no, the, the only characters that I've seen, uh, if I'm being completely honest, from them, uh, I would Bowser. say Turnoff. Oh, Bowser? Okay, awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'd say Turnoff. Obviously, very, very well known for their Greninja offline. Um, yeah. Online, though, is uh, a completely different story. Yeah, um, definitely. So we've seen, I think, I don't, I don't I've seen, think like, I've seen it well. once. No, that. neither. Absolutely yeah. not. Um, so I'm, I'm super intrigued to see how that all goes. Um, Luggy, meanwhile, I get a feeling, have I seen them offline at all? Or is um, it just purely yes. being online? They're a Victorian cloud. Yeah. Like okay. online cloud. Yeah. Because I, I think they've, they've been in nothing but Wi-Fi tournaments for the last couple of months. And they've they've yeah, been in definitely. pretty much all of them, if I'm being honest. They're, they're making yeah. waves, honestly. Uh, definitely. Let me take a full look at a bit of, bit of info on them. Um, yeah, Lucky. first first out of 60, I think, as well, at uh, at the um, ESO as well, number three. Yeah. And uh, I think the Couch Warriors League as well from back in May, they got 17th out of 211. That's actually pretty big. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they've, they've, they've definitely made waves online. 
Um, yeah, definitely. If, if this is an online invitation, maybe more way. Steps up. Let's do it. Um, one thing to note as well about Luggy is that Yum and Luggy play completely different. Okay. Yeah, so Luggy, I feel like he uses... Like, he uses his, like, forward air and stuff a lot more than mm. Yum uses. Yum uses, like, landing back air, and I'll just throw it out. Right. Where... I, I feel, like, from memory, I feel like Luggy calls you out more. Like, he knows, he understands the player mm. more. So it's a lot more sort of neutral, neutral base rather than kind of yeah. forcing your opponent to play it there again. Yeah. Okay, that's super interesting actually. Alright, I think, uh, I get a funny feeling that we are seeing the game actually happen. Oh, here there we go. There we go. Right. <laughs> uh, I, was, I was about to play Already Yeah. Yeah, I had, a, I had a sense that there was the game happening in the background, but we had a few technical difficulties. We're back up though. Yeah. Just in time to turn up taking the lead against Luggy. It might just end up being... Smash 4 and stuff. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Smash 4 was indeed 2 stock, and I think, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure Turn Up as well would be, would be right behind it. Pretty sure Turn yeah. Up being a veteran of Smash 4, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know about Lucky, uh, but. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm in. Oh, falling out a rollback. And that up sure is unpunishable. It's super hard. 214, yeah. Bowser. He's jumping. Yeah. Cloud definitely lacking kill throws. Oh, like. Nothing that kills just out of a throw. He doesn't have setups either, really. I mean, in terms of out of shield, surely you can go for those Ooh, up tilt. Up yeah. Threat catch. Oh, oh well, even better it. catch. It's yeah. gone. Yeah. Just kind of wasn't wasn't able to kill turn up really quick enough. To... Landing with the neutralize, starting no, nothing else out of it. I've always seen that neutralize seems to be like a phenomenal combo tool as well as a like a kill confirm oh, tool. Oh, nice no tech. Yeah, free up. Lucky just from a couple of hits as well. A couple of straight hits is now at eighty three point yeah. seven. No jump. Oh, no. Just missed it. Beautiful return to the stage there from Turner. Well, Good ground zero up. turn up as well. Uh, yeah. Big flex. Big flex. Yeah. Oh. I mean, obviously, you made a flex. What can I say? It's a big flex. It's true. <laughs> Alright, bit of fire breath. Yeah. Oh, not too much though. Doesn't do as much damage to, to Luggy as Turner probably would have liked, but honestly, the next the next swing is going to kill. Yep. Goodbye. Oh. No, not no, landing the on the eye. platform. Oh, oh yep. goddamn. Bad jump. Yeah, bad jump. Oh, Great catch, bro. Right, turn up. Definitely keeping with his namesake. He's uh, he's he's turned it up for game number one. But what is Luggy going to respond sure. with? And obviously, look, these are these are two pretty pretty phenomenal players to be meeting in, in winners yeah. round two. Um, is definitely sure. is definitely you know going to be whoever look whoever gets knocked down, they're going to have a hell of a run. Um, but meanwhile, I know that turn up. I if I'm not mistaken, has gone to a couple of offline tournaments recently too. I think I think Perth has opened um, up. Yeah. Um, um, I, I feel like I'm sure I've seen a couple of those. Photos. The oh, last wow. one was Perth uh, man. Okay. I can't remember what he played, but he did play top five at least. Mm. Oh yeah, and, and fair enough. He's, I, I'm sure. Look, if he was playing that Greninja as well, any chance to bring yeah. out the old frog? <laughs> right. oh, kind of immediately going for those uh, reverse forward airs too. It's kind of it's definitely cheeky. looking a little bit more even now. Oh, so Ooh, dead. my yep. god! Okay. Realize that Bowser could even get up there. <laughs> Luggy probably didn't realize either. <laughs> yeah, it, didn't, it didn't really feel like that forward edge should have been true, but the turn up went for it anyway. Yeah, the forward edge is huge. So. Mm. That's true. It does catch. It does catch pretty high. Yeah, and low as well. It pretty much mm. catches behind. Yeah, oh, almost going really... in with the gunner. 
really glad that not many Bowser players have figured out that Paul is super good against Luigi's side B. You didn't hear it from me. He said, walk off and forward again, I'm dead. But don't tell them that. Oof. More damage, that's that's big damage, and turn up. Still oh, holding yeah. on? Nah, that's attack. attack. Yeah. Has that's it big. taken too much damage, but if he gets hit by something big, he's definitely dead. Hmm. Seems like Lucky definitely kind of needs to... Oh, oh yeah. that's, that's no, a good punish? Yeah. Yeah. Damage. Ooh, plus, plus trap. Seems like Lucky wants to try and start thinking about how to refine his game plan against the heavy. Because yeah. He needs he needs answers for in case uh, the heavies go for those big swings. Any chance you can get to get those big punishes in against the big body? Like that's that's definitely money in the bank. Yeah, Lucky seems to be kind of like running up the field, just waiting for turn up to take an off. Damn, also yeah, gotta know what's gonna be what's gonna be safe, what's unsafe. Gotta go for that up smash on the shield and Bowser just roll behind and immediately gets a kill for it. Spud's definitely got the frame data for it too. Yeah, um, definitely. Ooh. Oh, huge again. damage. Oh, almost catching him again with the up smash. Yeah, panicking with that side B too. Oh, oh damn! Oh, yeah, Rolling. huge. Oh, catching the jump. Alright, starting oh, yeah. something. I'm amazed that Arcade didn't actually hit at all. Yeah. Oh, no jump. He's still, he's still living, surely? Yep. Yeah. But, for how long? Yeah. Oh, oh, no! That's so unfortunate. Yeah. Might have been trying to input a... Oh, get a attack or something, yeah. That's a shame. Just, he just, just didn't touch the ledge. Yeah. He's gonna pay dearly for it. Turn up 2-0 over Luggy. But he definitely started to have a couple of ideas towards the end, but Turnup was just uh, kind of running circles around him. It definitely seemed like Turnup had a, had a much more solid plan going into the game. Yeah, definitely. And it was, it was and down Luggy, to Luggy to kind of, yeah, he didn't adapt fast enough, really. Mm. He just, he only figured it out by that second game and he still had Figured it fully out by the mm. All right, so that will be winners round two. So let's take a quick look down the other side as well. So Chisel, um, this drops down. Yeah. Who do you play? Goon. Damn, Goon 2-0. Oh, yeah. that, that's pretty huge. Those two, those two actually play a fair bit, so... Okay. I guess. Definitely knows what uh, Chisel wants and stuff. Mm. Um, I think next we'll be actually seeing Sepro versus Dork. Okay. Dream. Um. So I feel Dork like we've seen this match up a couple of times. Maybe or, or Dora Hoon as well. Mm. One or the other. Now we've got Seb. Seb um, rocking up for this room, win his quarterfinals. Cool. So, Dork's, um, been probably, his biggest results, probably QQQ online. Mm. But he also has been offline, like offline he has good results in North Queensland. Yeah, as okay. Well. Which is, a, it's a smaller scene, but, like, he has decent results there as well, offline. Mm. Yeah, no, his I think his performances uh, online have been have been pretty phenomenal. Yeah. I think he got uh, there was an AOT weekly that he won actually out of sixty six. Yeah. Um, and the Cospendium as well from uh, from just last month he got fifth. Yeah. He um, did. Which was which is huge out of almost two hundred players. That was that was definitely a good achievement uh, at least in recent memory. Um, so he's definitely been on the up and up. I'd say on the Wi Fi, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if he becomes a serious threat when uh, when tournaments you know go back to. Um, offline, because Mario is a very scary character, but also one that doesn't really pop up that much um, in the offline yeah, scene not in, in Australia. Australia. Yeah, um, he also kind of being the closest. Oh, well. he's got a snake as well. Oh, he yeah, he doesn't pull him out as much mm. as he used to. I mean, he's kind of more like transferred to just maining mm. Mario a little bit more, but he yeah, doesn't have a snake. 
like that high recovery. Seb was ready for the low recovery. Uh, and Dork is ready with that cake okay. egg. Yeah. Oh, oh man. down air. Yeah. See ya. Seb Pro just keeping him in the corner so well. Oh, oh. Now, Damn, I did he, missed, I did... he missed the zero to death. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Shame on him. We gotta we gotta click that. That's what we gotta do. Oh, oh that was I I trying to back. make a look there. He wants it now. I mean look, I, I gotta admit I did see a video from which was posted about three hours ago, uh yeah. of, of some Rob Tech. And uh, immediately Seb had answered and said, "Why has no one thought of this?" And I said, "Look, Seb, you've got you've got an, like an hour. Uh, you've got an hour before the invitational starts. See what you can do." With it. <laughs> he's he's already chucking those gyros down and looking for the down airs. I've never seen that before as well. So maybe uh, he, he's, he's 20 minutes in the lab. He's, uh, oh, he's, he's oh, doing oh. that. Maybe. Oh, look at that forward air. Seb still in his first stop. Dork yeah. needs to find something. Oh, falling out. Oh no. no! I think Seb's just dropping these intentionally at this point. What's, I don't. Yeah, I don't know whether he's dropping them intentionally or what's just the eyeing well or something. But I wouldn't imagine like Seb would have been. Oh, good up smash! Exactly right. So finding finding the first kill. Yeah. yeah. Reverse Look. up smashes always always have eluded me. Nice five. Oh no, that is. That is unfortunate. Yep. You don't want to be either holding onto the ledge, or it looks like he might have just tried to go for a drop down something. Yeah, maybe. But uh, look, he got the drop down part um, just a little bit faster <laughs> than he was expecting. Uh, that is, that's a bit of a shame to start game number one. But he got a stock, a and the momentum might start shifting in Dog's favor. He went a bit further than he wanted to with the drop Ex down. Exactly. Yeah, just a little drop. Yeah. But uh, that's about <laughs> as much as he did. He just dropped. <laughs> Um, a dork. Meanwhile, he, look, he's had a pretty decent run. Two zeros all the way up to the winners' quarterfinals. But I mean, Seb yeah. being, you know, top Seb. ten. Really? What are you, you, you going to do? Yeah, he's got a whole lot of first places, both on and offline. Yeah, um, true. He's definitely like showed that he can do well on both kind of things. Mm, yeah, definitely in both environments, and it's it's yeah. super impressive. But I don't think any other players um, from offline fame have really made that same transition. No, not really. Um, but meanwhile, Seb allowing Dork to go to Yoshi's Island. I don't know what he's got up his sleeve. He's letting a Mario uh, take him here. Yeah, I'm just gonna check what he can. Battlefield PS2. Okay. I don't know. I mean, if he was banning Battlefield, man, as well just ban Yoshi's. But Dork, I'm sure he's going to take that to the bank and probably oh, take this stock. No, he gets the dog. Yeah, good DI. Oh, oh look at the back air. That was so close. Yeah. So is that it? Yep. Yeah, goodbye. I'll do it. Yeah, yep. that's unfortunate. But I guess, look, that's that's also something that's said from Oh, before. good reflect. Ooh, beautiful stuff. If you get a ledge gun, oh, yep. Calling it out. With the ledge trump, but nothing off it. No, up smash to speak of. Alright, <laughs> Seb maybe uh, looking for that air dodge down onto the next platform. Oh, oh that low ceiling. The oh low gosh. ceiling is definitely not helping Mari. Man, Pachyderm still look at look at the pacifist in the background. He's like, stop, please, Seb, you're destroying this man. What's going on? Uh, oh, overshooting the ledge. Switching. Good back right. there. Yep. Stop number one, and looking in a little bit of a better position uh, with this stop oh, than he was in the last no. game. Oh, Deku with the follow, phenomenal stuff. Taken up a oh, quarter of the screen. Oh my god! Oh, I'm eight. Is that? Oh. <laughs> no, not yet. No, not at zero. He's looking for it. Oh, right. that... That's it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So, he's he's going to take forty percent. Definitely right. going to be hard if he wants to take it. Though. Right, hang oh. on. Where's <laughs> where's that jumper going? Uh, Good DI on the up there. Alright, 
Semper just Semper is just targeted. Wipe into the fence. Is that up there? <laughs> He doesn't, he doesn't want to be shield poked though, especially in the top gonna platform. The up air is going to kill. Oh. That was a super good uh, air dodge. Seb was ready for it though, just goes to the back throw. Oh, I can do a light hit of back air. Yeah. And yep, tire. Mario just good absolutely... Oh, that's <laughs> unfortunate. Seb, you're going to be taking it 2-0. I mean, honestly, Dog started to bring that back an immense amount, especially compared to last game. Um, yeah, so definitely. The, like the adaptation was there, but said still started to read a yeah. like a few more of Dork's like stranger options too, like the fireball into yeah, the head on. He was still ready for that. Um, so he's, yeah. he's not gonna. You, you can't pull a fast one on Seb. He's he's, uh, he's a pro for a reason. Yeah, definitely. Moving into top eight now. Um, anyone else made it up there yet? Not yet. We're still nah, not yet. looking pretty. Um. Uh, so, moving on to Dora and Goon. So, see what happens. These two also play a fair bit, so... So, Dura playing uh, Joker, I think, is the first one. If I'm not um, mistaken, is yeah. that right? Is yeah. the kind of go-to, but also has a hero and a Toon Link, according to, yeah. according to my sources. He's kind of dropped the Toon Link. Like, he okay. played him kind of the start of online ultimate pretty much right okay and then he was like playing link for a while offline mm. and then he's kind of just transitioned to joker and that's what he's playing now i did actually i did see uh pokemon trainer last week as well oh yeah but he might have just been playing pokemon trainer for fun. i don't know Um, alright, let me just look up this here. No, Jura. What's he done? Second out of 102 at CW, like, that's huge. Yeah, definitely. He, I, I think he could definitely... If he plays in more, um... Offline tournaments, Jura could definitely be big PR. That's huge. Like, quite, quite easily. Okay, I'm excited. And so, have they been playing much offline beforehand, or I think are they are they sort of um, started online and they, have started they played to make a little. Offline? They played a little of both, right. but they haven't really played enough events. Mm. But they definitely like have the skill to do it. Yeah, like he's taken he's taken games off like Srix online and mm. like stuff like that. And but was it, was it the Streaks Game & Watch though? Uh I don't even know. I mean, it's it's not necessarily that important, but I mean, Streaks' yeah. Game & Watch is, is honestly the embodiment of yeah. jank. It makes me sick, but it works though. So I think if you can take games off that, then you're in you're in good stead. He's, I think he took a game off Ray Z offline. Okay. Once. With Link as well. That's, that's pretty big. When he was playing Link, yeah. I always feel like characters who have like super specific setups and combos and stuff like that yeah. in the ditto are so, so difficult to play against. Yeah, definitely. Like I think, I mean, yesterday I was, I was playing quite a lot of just sort of Luigi dittos and man, that's a strange one. I can imagine Link would be <laughs> would be pretty similar too. And, and probably yeah, Toon very. Link too. Um, um, I wouldn't say Toon Link as much. Okay. But I think Link definitely because he has like, especially the way Ray Z plays Link, mm. um, with all his setups and stuff, would be really weird. So I feel like people would know them. So that would be really hard to set up. Yeah, okay. But I don't know. I mean, look, the, the fact that the fact that Ray Z posts every single one of them on, on Twitter is definitely, <laughs> is definitely, you know, a testament. First off, like, how much of a lab he is, but second off, I mean... People, people have to learn them because he's he's publishing them as well. So yeah. if, you, if you get if you get caught by it, it's oh. on you. Oh, oh my god, that's immediate Art Ben. <laughs> oh my god, that's the, it's any percent All speed right. run for Art Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say that was like six seconds, honestly. Jeez. I don't think it was even that. It was <laughs> frame one Art Ben. That's what we did. Oh boy. Almost lost it now though. So. 
stacked on a bit of damage, but it's pretty even. Absolutely. I guess, honestly, if anything, that's got to be a bit of a mental uh, a mental game against, against Goon there. Because if Jury yeah. can just say, look, if you chuck out something willy-nilly, I'm going to get our send, so you better watch out. And doesn't have any more <laughs> Oh, just pushing out too far. Like, we back in. Absolutely. Goon didn't have any mana left, and all he had was a, a bit of an up B. Uh, yeah. Jury went a little bit too hard. Oh, that was a, that was a huge reversal. Yeah. Oh, he's just missing those grabs. Oh, so he's through. Almost. Throwing him on stage. Wow. No. Still let's have that water though. Yeah. I think he's handling it. Could him, definitely. Right? Could definitely end here. There you go. The up out of shield. Instant up tilt too to cover the landing. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be out of shield. Honestly, not a move that anyone really expects out of a uh, out of hero, but it's so good. It's so so. Yeah, good. it is. Yeah, that, especially on PS2. Like, yeah, true. The platform setup is there. And battlefield and stuff. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Sneaks into the back air and oh, gets Arsene just, again. <laughs> he's just reacting to it. Like, he just sees it and he's just like, oh. Here we go. Oh, the downer. Oh, the downer. And he survives for it, too. Oh. What, is it with, what is it with these wacky downers? It, 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 it's becoming clearer and clearer that these guys have played against each other before. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, oh it just isn't. Well done. Well, that means we have to go and found that down smash. Yeah. Still didn't kill Jura. Man, that could have plenty of the... damage from side B. Yeah, with side B. Alright, time for a bit of a heal. Yeah. Dylan is sitting pretty still. Another side B, just like 15 percent or something. I can't even think it's, but it's still definitely a, a bunch of damage. Yeah, it's it's a it's definitely a huge amount considering how relatively weak the projectile is just to begin with. Yeah. Alright, go and play yourself, so yeah. Still got a <laughs> you still got a fan. I'll the... uh, see you later. Oh, no, yep. Get out of here. No time to waste. <laughs> Not missing oh, that back here. Yep. That was clean. Well look at look at Hero, he's happy about that one. He's like, hey, well done. <laughs> Fellow, fellow DLC. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll end you next time. But well done. The camera one, Johnny Dura. It's it's definitely following following seating for now. But it was it was definitely pretty close. Goon had a, a, couple, yeah, a couple of wild swings, which could have could have turned around. Back to PS2 again. I I feel like the stage is pretty even for both of them. Three. Like, stage doesn't One, really matter go. too much. Yeah, no, absolutely. And with, and on top of that too, PS2 in general is a pretty, a relative neutral stage. There are a couple of characters yeah. that can get advantage out of it, but not too much. Oh, nice catch. On the raw back. Oh, man, he's projectile after protection. It's, it's really cool, and I think it's a testament to Joker as a top tier character, um, is like how easily you can swap between being, you know, a bit of a brawler as well as someone who can. Oh, oh damn! Huge. Good catch on the forward smash. I yeah. mean, you can, you can easily swap between just, you know, poking at people with guns and his uh, a half, and yeah. then just all the sudden going in and going hard as well. Yeah, definitely. You know, with all of that. You can play really safe, or you can play like really high control and just pull out your options. Oh, speaking huge. of, oh. Uh, uh, he was looking for a drag down though. Yeah. Shield looking a little small. Oh, looking for the <laughs> that was, that was Jack had another one. Oh, okay. oh, oh. yep, yeah, back out. Hundred percent. Hopping, yeah, directly over the uh, over that fireball too. That's all I needed. The was it Kafriz? Double up now. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who spells him. The fireball. Oh, I just missed the death drive. Oh, almost. Right, bang. <laughs> no, nothing. He, 
<laughs> he kind of made it out. Uh, made it out there like it was a boom. Gosh. Oh, the Slew's actually just sat there. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't know that it collided. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. He's only got a week for Shuffy. Oh, yeah. Uh, surely he's it's done for. Like it's gonna be a, unless he gets. Uh, uh, yeah, no zoom to speak of, just got a, got a sizz. Yeah, maybe looking for a stage spike to <laughs> at least stay, tell, yeah, you know, tell his friends later that he didn't get three stock. But, <laughs> yeah, well, Jura still, yep. still takes it. Yeah. Sure. The first game looked pretty strong, but Jura just adapted, closed it out. Absolutely. He honestly started going for some pretty wild stuff like halfway through that game too. Like the, I think yeah. he chucked that about four or five down airs just to try and see if he can confirm, confirm into something. I think he got it like once, but you know what? Quantity over quality, if you've got as fast of frame data as, as Joker does, isn't necessarily that bad. Yeah, definitely. Um, We've actually had a pretty big upset in the bracket. Oh, go ahead. What do we got? Um, Amiibo King was seeded 29th mm. and beat 4th seed and then 13th seed. Oh yeah, damn. Deck yeah, Deku Meister in round one as well. Yeah. We'll see. So, Jesus. Okay. Maybe King I, H10. He doesn't have big results either, so that's definitely. Maybe yeah, King's ready. Well, I, I'm pretty sure they came through from the last chance qualifier just yesterday. Wasn't yeah, they it? did. Yeah. Uh jeez, uh, the rest, of, <laughs> the rest of the uh, Australian Wi-Fi Championship is probably, probably kicking themselves that they didn't knock him down further. Seventeen. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have big results. Man, well, Amoeba King's out to play. He's he's already in the uh, he's already a game away from getting top eight. He just has yeah, to beat definitely. Lone Zen. Um, but Lone Zen as well, fifth seed, so it's still one down from Deku Meister. Um, but I don't know. Lone Zen also yeah. a freaking more Rob players. What's going on? <laughs> we, got Rob, we got Rob player. We got Lone Zen as a Rob player. Minty eight, the Rob player. If Lone Zen no, plays Rob, that's ridiculous. I don't know. It's both turn up and Lone Zen, you just don't know what they're going to play. Yeah, look, fair enough. I think Lone Zen, uh, when there was the crew battle, I think, was it Boo Busters? Is Lone Zen part of Boo, Bus uh, Boo Busters? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think the, the Rob came out then. Um, yeah. But that was, the, that was the last one that I saw. Yeah. Um, let me take a look. I, he I have might to... be playing. He might be taking this a lot more seriously, so he could be playing one. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. It's so, look, I had to look this up just for the, for my own sort of satisfaction. But the neutral specials for Hero are Frizz, Frizzle, and Kafriz. So <laughs> the big one was Kafriz. I think the one we saw would have been uh, Frizzle. So. Yeah. There you go. Well, if you if you ever need to remember it, just just think of I don't know the Magic School Bus, I guess. With the, with the freeze. It. Yeah, well, a, a good, honestly, Google's probably the, a better option. But, I don't know, the the 90s kid in me wants to say that uh, uh, that the Magic School Bus is definitely going to come out in force. What else have they got? Side special, Zap, Zapple, and Kazap. Whoosh, swoosh, and swoosh. The down special, my favorite name is Command Selection. <laughs> and there yep. you go. It's oh the Lord. least strange name for yeah. and yet it still has moves like oomph and kerklang in there and kamikaze but that doesn't matter Lone yeah. Zen coming out versus I think we're going to see the Amiibo King uh, game for top 8 so and if I'm not mistaken too I think this is going to be the last streamed match before we actually start looking at the top 8 which is, which is super interesting super exciting actually as well <laughs> Amazing. Uh, screenshot there by Lone Zen. Let's take a look. Hang on. Amiibo King couldn't find uh, the pinned messages for the chat. Right. <laughs> Amiibo King also rocking the, the Darth Maul Lego portrait. That's fantastic. Yep. Man, oh man. It, I, I think... The, the added flavor of Discord portraits for, uh, for online Wi-Fi tournaments compared to just commentating for offline stuff. Yeah. It's, 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 it's honestly like, it adds so many extra layers. Especially if you don't know who they are as well. <laughs> yeah. like, you don't know what they look like at all. 
Man, big like, shout out to Frank Walker anyone. from yesterday. That's true. Oh yeah, Frank Walker. Man, from Ugh. National Tiles. Did they actually... Um, did they say who it was? Um, people speculated. Uh, I don't speculated. think anyone truly... I don't think anyone truly concluded. Okay. Um, but it was... It was pretty funny that, uh... I, I think... <laughs> I got a follow from them as well on Twitter. And I think that <laughs> I'm one of the only people they follow for some reason. It's like it, I don't know. It's strange, but I'm 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 on it. And quite frankly, I might have to try and you know find some uh, some friends and family discounts next time I go tile shopping. <laughs> with, with with Frank Walker in my corner from National Tiles, like, there's yeah, no way just, I can go just go wrong at all. Just send him a message on Twitter. Have you did you notice he has a Twitter now? He does, yeah, and he, and he's following. Yeah. Me. Oh, he's followed you too. Whoa. Exactly. Oh, look, we're 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 close now. Man. We're close like that. Yeah, you're, you're friends. Yeah. Man. But let me see. Yeah. So we we look. We, we, we thought as well. I think because uh, Frank actually ended up showing up on the on the stream last night as well for uh like after yeah. uh, the QQQ stream. Um, yeah. And so we we concluded question mark that it might have been fly. But it look it's hard okay. to say. It's hard to say. <laughs> Honestly, it could it could just be like a hive mind of uh, Queensland PR. It could. Um, yeah, it could have just been a different person. Yeah. That. Every single yeah, if if not every <laughs> single game. Just just kinda of cycling yeah. the control. <laughs> yeah, it could have just been like five different people just changing controller. Oh, it's, it's ridiculous. Game. But man, if if I had the eloquency as well of Frank Walker to be able to uh, type in such a salesman-like okay. fashion as well, oh my gosh, I wish. Banjo coming out from Lone Zen. Okay, Lone Zen. I mean, look, his name's his name's Lone for God's sake. Why is he he's bringing a friend? What's he doing? <laughs> what a fool! Uh, Three, two, but meanwhile, the Link, the Amiibo King. It'd be great if Amiibo, Amiibo King actually just pulled that like spirited Amiibo, just like level 50 Amiibo instead. He just he's like a puppet king. He just he lets his he lets his minions fight for him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be that'd be such a quick. But uh, no, Amiibo King pulling out the link. Um, and I think I think we knew about it, but we didn't know it was uh, yeah. we didn't know it was this good. So let's see what Lone Zen can do about it. Oh, oh well. Yes, indeed. Okay. There you go. Lone Zen is making it look easy. On. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Banning out an option with, uh, with that side B, and I guess the other Lone Zen's got that lead. He can really start to be super, super liberal with these side Bs. Yeah, oh, again. Okay. Yeah. Kind of, kind of oh, oh, no. why, why did you add on? Oh, just missed the lens. He had two jumps and an up B. No, he didn't have up B anymore. I think he used it. Oh, oh, he might have actually. Yeah. 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 What a fool. He right. might have had his jump, but I don't know. Oh, the roll's still getting caught by the uh, by the forward smash. Propellers, Kazooie. Okay, all right. And maybe King. <laughs> Look at this. This neutral. Yeah, this is neutral. This is neutral. I mean, Ooh, all, all, all maybe King literally did was just uh, drop the bomb and just said, you know, "Go, my child." Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, the, the bomb, the bomb really didn't do anything, but it was it was a nice tool there. Just oh, to, the just bomb leave. just nothing out. Oh, oh <laughs> yeah, good grenade side there. Absolutely. Okay, more. Oh, oh my God! Oh, 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 more hood. Oh, he's brought it back. Everyone's, Maybe everyone's this is how he's, Maybe this is how Amiibo King made it. He's he just SP. Really, everyone has really really SP. <laughs> <laughs> he's. He's just forcing out, <laughs> he's forcing out really, really stupid options from his opponents. Yeah, like Man. he's just tapping them with the bomb or something, and they're just stuffing up. Genuinely phenomenal and incredibly cerebral play from Amiibo King. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Oh, and again, again. Amiibo King. People yeah. are scared. What are they doing? <laughs> Amiibo King's just like he's literally DDoSing. Them. <laughs> DDoSing their brain. Exactly. Oh no, alright. This is the banjo, the, the, the wacky side beat. Sometimes, you know. Ooh, catch again. No more side beats. No more one and... Yeah. Four down. If there's a. Oh, getting him off him. Is that dead? Nope. Yeah. Good oh, match. Surely not at that percent. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, good bit of charge there as well on that forward smash. Lone Zone had that spacing. Yep. 
I think I think we might have had a bit of an insight into the the inner inner mind and the workings of Amiibo King. <laughs> right. I don't know. Lone Zen still still clutching it out actually as well. It's I think yeah. He has to eat twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amiibo King only has to eat once. But it's so... the first game that Amiibo King's actually lost so far. Wait, yeah, so, true. Yeah. Both have been two O's on the way through. Um, so I don't know. Lone Zen could be the could be the Amiibo Slayer. Yeah, true. <laughs> what a what a what a game number one, my lord. <laughs> Let's see how game number two goes, though. If we don't see an SD, it, it could actually be a pretty nice game for top eight. Yeah. Actually, yeah, just to clarify, this is for top eight. <laughs> we've, seen, we've seen, I think, about three or four SDs. But <laughs> yeah, when it goes to top eight, yeah. Exactly. I invitational BTW. Um, yeah, $320 transport. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Lonesome floating around uh, over the top of the Um Playing a lot more patiently from the platform now. Uh, doesn't want to. Doesn't want to SD yeah, this time. Um, oh, calling out dumps. That was really good. Oh, again. Again. Yeah. Oh, oh no! That would have been crazy if you got that. I think it would have killed. Like, I, I would have agreed. I think it would have. Yeah. But uh, I think he was drifting in because he just didn't want oh, to die for it. Yeah, smash. Oh, so close. I honestly, I don't know why, I thought for a second Amiibo King putting that bomb down, I thought he was going to launch himself into Lone Zen. Oh, just in space to the answer. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen... Oh, oh great oh, yeah, that was great. That was interesting it's, that Lone Zen rolled in. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but given, given the fact that the bomb was there too, you'd yeah. kind of think that, like, you'd use the bomb to cover one option and then catch a up smash with the other, but Amiibo King doubled down on the bomb. So, I maybe know, with maybe. reverse psychology. It's, yeah, I honestly, like it, it genuinely could be. Um, maybe Amiibo but... King is literally just like the mentalist. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> well, it could be. Oh no. Speaking of Rollins, what are we doing? Here? Yeah. Oh, hang on. All right, still got the upbeat. He's all right. Oop, F smash in the tip off. Almost into the bomb as well. Yeah, it was pixels away. It looked like. Oh, the oh, roll in! Amiibo. Please, please! <gasps> oh. We really we don't have to roll if you don't want to. Okay, Lone Zen. He's, he's done that, I think, twice or three times now. Gone for a, a you know pretty non committal attack, run back, and immediately gone for a side B. Just catching yeah. out any sort of aggressive approaches from Amiibo King. Yeah, tries to do it again. Yeah. Trying to catch him all the time. Whoa, oh, hang up on. here again. Oh, no punish. Whoa, okay. Oh, Harry getting hit by the ground again. Yeah. He burns that last one. Like, I don't know what... I don't know what his plans are with these one -wing. Yeah. Because rather than sort of confirming into them, or, I don't know, trying to power through a move that Amiibo King has already thrown out... Yeah. Um, he's just... He's trying to use them for, for purely for reads. Yeah, definitely. Especially, like, with the stage... Mm. It's, it's not really worth it. Because, yeah. like, especially at these percents, you're not gonna get a kill off it, really. Oop. Absolutely there not. There we go, oh that, led, that led you well, but... Goes for the tea bag for uh, <laughs> the a little, little bit of extra sauce. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Just... Yeah. I don't know. I, I think honestly, Amiibo King's got to got to ride this kind of intimidation factor of his last two sets uh, as yeah. far as he can. Because I don't know. Maybe Lone Zen is thinking, who the hell is this Amiibo King guy, and why is he why is he beating me? <laughs> it, it could just be it could be a mental factor. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, calling out the jump. The grenade covering his approach on the platform too. I like that. It's kind of like the the duck hunt recovery with the can as well. Like you kind of cover your own cover your own approach. Maybe King has the bomb? No longer. Oh, catching the roll. Good damage. Seems like everyone loves to hold shield. Oh, he gets caught on it's the bomb! So active. Oh my god, it was still active! <laughs> I don't know. Was the bomb there? It was, yeah, the that's bomb. that's why he got that's why he got hit, because of the bomb. Fire. <laughs> that's so unfortunate, but that was that was alright. That, that was, was the huge. first time that the side B of Lunzen was not only like pretty good but phenomenal. 
That was <laughs> yeah. That was huge brain. That was what that was. Oh my god. Amiibo King in the chat's like, what? I lost what? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh. Jeez, what a what a way to go. That that extended hitbox. What a time. Oh wait, oh, why is the stream open? Oh, actually, yeah. I, could, I wonder if it's too late to click that. I got. Oh, we'll, we'll definitely have to go back. If you have something clicked already, because that was phenomenal. Yeah, it definitely was. Um. So I don't know if we're gonna do losers. Let's see if we get some losers or something. Um. At first glance, I think the the losers bracket or the loser side was played on Sino's stream, but yeah, we also, don't, we also don't have any registered um uh, registered games yet from the top eight no. either. Um, but let's quickly see who is maybe going up to top eight. So Seb Pro winning 2-0 over Dork to be making it on winner side. Uh, Lone yeah. Zen beating Amiibo King uh, to do the same. Dura as well and Nerd. Um, we didn't get to see it, but Nerd beating Turnup 2-1 actually uh, yeah. to make it into top eight. It's pretty, pretty damn good. Yeah, definitely. And so, unlike a, a couple of other uh, types of brackets, we don't have uh, you know both people on the winner side going into the, um, the top bracket uh, on both winners and losers side. So the, the loser of yeah. these top eight matches is going to be going down to losers round four. So they still have to fight for survival to make it into the top eight on the loser side. Um, so with that in mind, Goon and Sags are going to be playing against each other. Turn up is waiting for the winner of Yum and Gravity. Um, uh, yeah. Amiibo King. Gravity might have just finished. Oh, okay. No, no, they didn't. They didn't. They're still, still going. Yeah. Um, Amiibo King waiting for uh, someone in Violet. So apparently, Luggy and Cordino have been. This is the longest set known to man. They're still in losers round two. What on earth? Wow. Yeah. Um, and then Dork waiting for the winner of Mr. Krabs and Psycho. Psycho, I think. Uh, yeah. Oh. Never mind, Mr. Krabs, he's in. He's, he's, he, oh my god, he's got a gun. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing Mr. Krabs versus Psycho. So Mega Man... I'm not sure who Mr. Krabs flies, actually. Um, let's take a that. look here. Yeah, Mr. Krabs didn't really get too much uh, too much of the old data on him, actually. I couldn't find much. Um, mainly because of the, yeah, the fact that really. his name was typed so strangely. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, though. DK, there we go. DK, oh, that's huge. Yeah. Mr. Krabs, Froggy's, Froggy's selling it. Yeah, here we go. Oh, there we go. He's also in the, he's in the, uh, in the Froggy stream. Mr. Krabs, playing yeah. Mega Man, and he calls heads too. There you go. Write that down. He's calling heads. Um, banning FD, all that good stuff. Yeah, so I feel like Mega Man would do a good job at keeping him out. You probably... You got plenty of DKs in uh, New South Wales, so you, you might know a bit, a bit about the matchup. We do, yeah. But... Look, there are, there are a whole lot of DKs here, and honestly, I don't know why. <laughs> they're everywhere. They're, they're like bloody rabbits. Um, I mean, I've seen I've seen uh, DK into Mega Man a couple of times. We do have Plump, uh, yeah. one of the one of yeah, the stronger Mega Man players. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, uh, yeah, Fontana, Lunchy, uh, and obviously the the infamous Doc. As well, um, we're still yeah. we're still a pretty prolific Mega Man. Oh, sorry, uh, Donkey Kong rather. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I I think this matchup is definitely uh, kind of DK's game plan dialed up to eleven because DK has a phenomenal advantage state and a pretty weak everything else. Yeah. Um, and Mega Man is super good at kind of uh, closing up any potential windows to find your own advantage. Yeah. Um, but. I don't know. With DK, when it rains, it pours, and so you know when he finds his advantage, it's it's going to do a lot. Yeah. He has to push it as much as he can. He does, and Mega Man definitely tries to push back as much as he can. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that interesting. That Metal Blade actually completely stops his uh, his yeah. approach with the dash attack. There you go. I guess any sort of clank with that hip hop is enough oh, to do it. Oh, good board air. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. One of a huge and incredibly fast option for Mega Man too. Oh, the leaf, leaf shield actually gets completely snuffed out. Perhaps just cut through everything. Oh, looking, looking to finish the stuff there. That's 
dangerous to go off stage against Mega Man as well, because, I mean, perhaps if he gets spiked, it's just even a little bit um, at low yeah. percent. DK's uh, vertical recovery is, is crash, if I'm being completely yeah. honest. It's, it's very bad. Definitely. Right, but uh, Psycho is definitely doing a good job of approaching uh, Scrap's lane a little. Mm. It's just grabbing him. Oh, uh, three lemons on the shield. Oh, oh no. yeah, there's the spike. Yeah. Again. He's over committing. Oh, okay. Oh, boy, now the landing border. Knock him out the top. You, you never really think that that forward air, uh, like as a landing option, is is good <laughs> at all. But I mean, it, it's kind of like it's kind of like Cloud's forward air. Like if you space it properly, yeah. it's, it's surprisingly hard to punish. It's it's like on paper, it's it's not good. But yeah, like, exactly. In application, it's great. Mm. It's it's only just because of how large it is. Um, yeah. And the the amount that you can actually get out of it if you land it too is is pretty impressive. Yeah, definitely. Plus, it's also just kind of mental damage. Oh, oh my oh. god! That's just raw damage, that's what that is. Yeah. No mental game about it. Mr. Krabs has brought this back in a pretty convincing fashion already. Still holding shield and not getting any, any sort of damage from leaf shield. Finally, there we go. Alright. Yeah. Starting to let it slip away a little bit. Oh, yep, pushing in. Ooh. Oh. Almost punishing the landing. So Mid close. Pixels away, but Mr. Crab's no jump. Super high recovery. Ooh. Ooh, punish? No, nothing. Oh, yeah. Forward smash is kind of Oh, surely there you go. Oh. Forward smash. Oh, yeah. Huge. Who goes for that? He just gets up and goes for his side thing. Really patient. And yeah, I think uh, I think Psycho was definitely towards the end when the games actually started to get a lot more even. It started to turn more into a brawler than a than a projectile yeah, based character, definitely. which I was super surprised by. He, he started to try and get up close and personal to DK, and that's that's what yeah. he loves. That's that's where you're in your grab range, and you don't want to get grabbed. <laughs> oh, yeah, Lord. definitely. Oh, running back. Yeah, no no quit out, no uh, no stage, you know, all character swaps. They just press and start again. Both characters and players in typical Australian fashion, just holding forward. Let's keep going. <laughs> Classic. Okay. Metal Blades, anyone's game? No, it's gone now. All right. It's gone now, yeah. Yeah, see, he's just like pushing his spacing like just too much. Mm. Yeah, he, he doesn't need to get as close as he's, uh, as he's getting to. As he's getting, yeah, forward. for sure. Because, like, once Donkey Kong throws out an option, that's when you want to run in mm. and punish it. Yeah, like so, there you go. If he if he's chucked out something and then the Metal Blade doesn't catch... Oh, sorry, if the Metal Blade does catch, rather. Yeah. Uh, then that's a free punish on, on Mega Man, but you really kind of have to... Yeah, definitely. Oh, good catch. Yep. Yeah, beautiful... Baiting uh, out the air dodge with the, uh, the Metal Blade as well. Mm. And, yeah, look, as we said, uh, DK's disadvantage is pretty bad, so if you can catch stuff yeah, like that, um, then yeah, it's pretty soft. Oh, just missed the punish. Oh, oh, yep. Overshooting the lights. Yeah, and the amount of stuff that Metal Blade is just going to get cancelled out by from DK is, is yeah, quite definitely. a lot, so... You know, Psycho's got to back it up a little bit. Oh yeah, just pushing his facing again. Just, just too much. But he's maintaining stage control pretty well, which is pretty good. Oh, punish now. Oh, huge! <laughs> now that's a punish huge. right there. Yeah. Oh my lord. One might even say it was a giant punch. But <laughs> maybe, maybe that's just me. Alright, stuff's out the forward smash. Now Mr. Yeah. Krabs is catching. Whoa, ho, ho. settle down, DK. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, the up is dead. Bit of rage. <laughs> yeah, if he had a bit more rage, I uh, probably would. Psycho doesn't have any options. Ooh. Oh, so close. Good roll. I honestly was thinking for a second that his neutral B, like his giant punch, would have been caught on the uh, the crash bomber and like somehow extended, and I would <laughs> I would have lost my mind. <laughs> Oh, that back air was so close to him. That would have been. Oh, 
Nah, knock him off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Again, he's just, like, he was just the fucking stage thing. Like, Donkey Kong wins! That was, uh, that was also one of the weirdest kill screens I've ever seen. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's like DK accidentally just backhanded, uh, <laughs> uh, backhanded Psycho there. Yeah. Oh, jeez. But I mean, it's, uh, I, I can imagine, I can imagine playing any of these projectile based characters or I'd say Mega Man especially from behind could be pretty difficult. Yeah, um, definitely. And look, if DK has any chance to push his advantage by like catching out options of an approaching opponent, oh man, that's, that's huge damage for DK. And it, he could start swinging for that crazy stuff like that jump up into the shine punch, like catching that was, was huge. So, I mean, yeah. it's dangerous. For some reason, turn up decided to play uh, heads or tails with me in general. <laughs> Who's winning? Uh, I lost. Oh well, <laughs> just just quit quit while you're behind. I'll just delete delete the messages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. Who's, like, the, who's the who's the mod here? Delete delete the coin messages <laughs> until we get like, and just keep doing it until I win. So we're gonna say Mr. Krabs again versus Dork. Oh, okay, Mr. Krabs and Dork. Yeah. So DK into Mario. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, all right. So they've both confirmed. DK Mario. I. Oof. I don't know how to feel. I just realized Mr. Krabs actually beat Chisel as well. Oh. Okay. There's been a lot of, like, the lower level ones turning, like, turning up. And Psycho beat, uh, Andrew as mm. well. Um... And it seems like as well, so Mr. Krabs Krab actually got a, got a DQ from Deku Meister as well, so he, he, yeah, started, that well. he started that run. That's good momentum. Yeah. Um, H-Tem losing to Gravity as well. Jeez. Mitty 8 taken out by Sags. Yeah. Um, Sags and Leo. Leo MCL. I feel like if you, you swap it around. Leo McLeod. Becomes, yeah, well, I mean, if yeah. you swap around the two, it literally becomes like MK Leo. Uh, <laughs> I mean, or, like almost. I mean, if you if you read yeah, it quickly. If you put, if you put the L. Back to the mm. And then put it at the top. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good. Uh, what, there you go. That's geometry right there. <laughs> oh, now, we're now playing. We're... I just realised we're playing. I no. Look, I want to. I want to talk more about that. That putting, <laughs> putting the L in the back of the seat and making it. That's big brain. Jesus. Okay. But right, anyway, back to back to some Super Smash Brothers, I guess. Yep. Um. All right. So. Dork is literally Dork. just running circles around this platform. <laughs> He's literally just throwing out offense. Um, but Mr. Krabs really is winning though. Yeah, He's doing quite good. Oh, domination ledge. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Oh, no, probably not. Oh, oh. Good DIM. Yeah. Absolutely. Starting with that down B. Like down B is such an underrated move uh, on the ground from Donkey Kong. Yeah, definitely. To for brawler type characters where they don't really have many other options to approach, um, it's so so good. Pretty pretty oh, standard stuff, getting good damage. Is that it? <laughs> no. Right, more spot dodges. Now it's oh. making it back. Oh, so close. Got no jump. Oh, Five. yep. Good no try. stop. I feel oh, like goodbye. I feel like with trumping, you would have had to either play Smash 4 or play against the Mario often to actually know how to deal with it. Oh, this yeah, is pretty huge though. He's not Eight done damage. yet. Oh, looking for more, but good back end. Is that? Oh, almost thought that was it. Oh, that might be it. Oh, that is absolutely. Yeah, that is. That's a really good turnaround because he was like down a whole stock moment as well. 
Alright, run that back here. No, again, the fireballs are completely snuffing out uh, Dork's approaches. Oh, sorry, Mr. Crab's approaches. Yeah. Up is, oh, catching the rollback. Oh, the shield! Oh, the shield break. break. What's he gonna do? Do you have anything? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, I was just thinking, does Dick have any like semi cool confirms right now? I, I don't think so. No, <laughs> it's not Smash Four. They don't have uh, the Dick Dong. Oh, there you are. Oh, yep, huge. Smash for the rig. Yep. Man, oh man. All right, so Dork, despite the first stock, he, he's taking it back. There we go, game number one's going to him. Um, and what was, do we have any bans just yet? Mr. Krabs. Uh, FD in town. Be. FD in town were banned. SV. Oh. So it's probably good for, um, SV is probably good for DK's juggling. Mm. Like with up air. If uh, Dork stuffs up, like, is juggling so we can punish it. Um, and it isn't so high for Mario to kill you off the top as well. Mm. Which is pretty good. Yeah, okay, that's, no, that's fair enough actually. And I, I'd say, I don't know, yeah, with what you said as well, the central platform probably works maybe like a little bit more of both people's favors. You've got, you've got yeah. a much nicer, nicer stage to, uh, to go for a potential. A potential thing is dongles. But, I don't know. <laughs> Smash is so dangerous on that on that, uh, that platform too. It comes a decent amount of uh, options like you know normal like mis tech, uh, oh. get up attack, anything like that. Oh, waiting for an air dodge well, look at that. Oh, that was really good shield. DK doesn't really have many options to hit Mario out of seal, like behind it. Oh shit! Re grab. Oh. Going for a capable things, maybe maybe looking yeah. for a forward and A and sort of going for a forward and B. Yeah, or like catching his normal get up or something. Oh, pushing him back. Oh, oh there's the cave, yup. See you later. Yeah, just remind me to never let Mario anywhere near a helicopter. If he's gonna do that, I'm just gonna send the uh, helicopter <laughs> the other way. That's that's dangerous. <laughs> The man's a menace to society. Oh, gee, okay, Mr. Cap's going for a forward air out of this event. Oh, grab. Oh, oh the spike, guy. yep. Dunk. You have to DI if, if you're off the stage. You can't have to do that. I find that up there. Yep. One thing I've seen, like, uh, a fair amount of from a couple of do uh, Donkey Kongs in Sydney is kind of up being out of, uh, out of disadvantage. Yeah, I know it sounds really strange, and it's it's mainly also because uh, whenever I play against him as Luigi, uh, they oh hang on, no. is he dead? No, no. Uh, it's mainly grounded combos, so maybe it wouldn't be as great against Mario. Yeah, but it's still an option, I guess. Because it has a super armor on it as well, mm. and if they're just gonna continue like holding forwards, like if they're just pressuring your shield, then oh, it'll see definitely no. definitely catch them. Oh, so close. Oh, more pivot grabs. Do it again. Oh, great oh, catch. Yeah. Yep. Death. Oh, okay. almost. Oh, damage. Almost getting the up smash. Yeah, dodge and going for back air instead. It's huge. Back air even bigger. Oh. Uh, oh. I think it's back here. I don't know. Oh, okay, well, oh, yeah. Cool. We can so check out another one. Landing. Yep. Florio, that, was a, that was a strange one there. It looks. Uh, what was that kill option there? I think. It, I guess it must have been a, like a weakish back air. Um. Yeah, I think it was a back air that just they clipped each other. So it's a bit weird. And Who then knows? the up smash at the end. Yeah. I wonder if there's ever been a kill screen where the actual like kill sparks come out from someone getting hit by Mario's cape. Um, I can't. Just, probably I don't think, no. I don't think it's Unless actually got. Unless you were like, that. yeah, no. 
Unless maybe you're like almost in the blast zone. What happens yeah. if you hit them in the top blast zone? Because you can't go out of the top blast zone yourself. So what right. if you go? What if you hit them in the top blast zone? Maybe we're gonna we're gonna test this. <laughs> set set both characters to nine hundred ninety nine percent. Just uh, I don't know. Top of <laughs> battlefield, double jump, side B. See what happens. Nope. You know what? I, I, I want to be there when it happens. We're going to see it. We're going to see it. <laughs> oh. History will be made. Oh, Amiibo King's coming back to the screen. Oh, that's huge. I think Very this will big. be the last one before we take a bit of a break. So Amiibo King up against Violet to make it yeah, out. So Violet pretty lucky. Who won? Yeah. Those two might have played... Because Violet, say, uh, Vic... Uh, Pikachu, offline. Right. Pikachu, so those two might have played before. Okay. But... Yeah, um, Violet has decent results, like ninths, I think. Okay. Kind of. Well, I don't know, but we might, we might see another ninth here today. And maybe King yeah. is on the tear, except for, uh, except for his match just earlier. Uh, seventh at it. ESO, the last ESO. Okay. Beating third and, uh, Andrew, actually. Oh, wait, That's no, losing big. third and Andrew, I mean. Right. He beat uh, Kanga and Kaido Roy. Okay. Um, but he hasn't got too many other results that are big. But that's his most recent result, so it could also be quite. So do we do we know where Amiibo King is based as well? Um, I do not, but I can try and find out. No, uh, we gotta we're gonna take a look at the uh wait. Info. Let's see. The old Smash Data website. Oh, it works an absolute treat. Um okay, so yeah, uh, okay. Does he have offline? I don't Is know, it, it looks online? It looks like all of them are all of them are purely online results. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, don't know. Time's only gonna tell, I guess. You know, when when everything comes back and Amiibo King's, you know, beating Dark Wizzy, the next time he comes back to Phantom, like, it's, that's, we'll, we'll find out where he's from. Everyone's <laughs> gonna know that name. Yeah, I actually can't find out. I'm looking at some stuff and he doesn't have, uh, like a state role or anything, so mm. I don't know where he's based. There's no info. We don't know who he is at all. So... Yeah. Faces here. Uh, I was quickly trying to copy and paste the uh, the stream link as well through a Twitter, uh, through a tweet rather. And the first image that yeah. I found was uh, was just cursed slippy tags of Ben Shapiro versus Cup. So there you go. That's okay. fantastic. <laughs> big, big big shout out to Ben Shapiro, I guess. I don't know. The Falco player. But hey, regardless, Amiibo King and Violet uh, chilling in the wings right now. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't think. Look, I, I don't think I've. Are they banning? Uh, oh, yeah, they're, they're banning now. Yeah, we've got the character selects uh, now. I'm working with the first ban. Yeah. Banning FD. Um, yeah. Especially against Pikachu. That's... You don't really want a flat stage. Yeah, and I'm so working... Yeah. Yeah, I'd say, look, that's, that's pretty true. I, I think... Pikachu, in general, I think benefits a lot from those side platforms from Town and City, as well as from Kalos as well. Yeah. Um, mainly just because, especially if you don't have, um, like, decent approach options, uh, it can be next to impossible to actually break through Thunder Jolts and stuff like that. If, if they're playing, yeah, like, if they're playing campy I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I still remember, I, I played a set against Day, I think, actually, at a Sydney Weekly, yeah. and, um, yeah, I think we ended up going both... Smash, oh sorry, uh, Town and City, 
and Kalos. And both times it was it was miserable. Um, <laughs> simply because he's just going, well look, I mean, if I get grabbed, I'll die. So what, what am I supposed to do? And I guess similar things can happen with Link as well. Where, you know, if you can start something with Link, then it can be pretty hard to get out of. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, it, yeah. it really depends. Um, well, I mean, oh, it's the SD, the classic. This is how it starts. This is exactly how it starts. No, it's not. It's violent. It's gonna SD. It's not. What? <laughs> He's just throwing out smash attack. We're gonna see it happen. Uh, the up Oh, hang on. Oh. Move complete. 40 hex. <laughs> Alright, oh. landing with that forward oh, air. Yeah. Oh yeah, good more. back air out of shield, yeah. Oh, look, convert the back air into an up air. Nice. Get the eyeball for it. Yeah, especially if you can call out uh, any of those multi-hits. Especially, like, it's it's similar with, like, jabs on shield as well. Oh, Great catch. Great catch. Great catch with Come back as well, yeah. But, uh, yeah, if you can catch those, you know, like, multi-hit like, forward smashes or multi-hit jabs and stuff on shield with uh, something quick out of shield. If your opponent's like, whoa, well, hang on, he's still got a shield, but I can probably stop, hit, uh, stop swinging. That can be uh, a fair yeah. punish for you. Oh, no, that's a double hit. Oh, jab block. Oh, yeah, accidentally too many jab, uh, jab swings. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with me Down tilt, maybe, and accidentally yeah. from the direction. Press A, just not down. Oh, well. Alright, these, these weak up Bs, uh, they're, they're still working for him, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, definitely. Violet's just looking for stuff, and... Maybe well, everything's just kind of pressing buttons, and it's working a little. Mm. You know, because Violet definitely seems to be drifting in towards Amiibo King a lot, uh, yeah. and uh, considering how large all of Link's hitboxes are, and also how much priority a lot of them have, um, being yeah. disjoint too. Um, it can be a little bit hard for Violet to cope with just for now. Violet seems to be slowing down a little bit. Yeah, okay. exactly. Nah, they're, they're plugged in, they're plugged in the screen. Oh, forward smash just missing. <laughs> oh no. Alright, but maybe getting a little bit too empty on that. Oh, it's gonna cost. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, catching him. It's gonna cost that yep. stop. Damn. Mevo Kick is making, like, big, big, big. Upsets. Yeah, look, it seems like it seems like this game might be an exception for now. Oh, big shoot! Fucking small under boy. It. Oh, kill so close. Don't kill the sweet spot. Oh, I don't go for forward head all the way down there. YMCA in the chat. Which one of these is Ben Gold? Uh, all of them. Yeah, they're both Ben Gold, and also none of them are Ben Gold. Okay. Up for interpretation. Violet, you go catch him with forward air. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, Link's just Link is not necessarily the best without the uh, with the exception of um, bomb recoveries. If you haven't seen from Moving yeah. Yet, but... yeah, no. That's such a high risk, high reward thing though. Oh, uh, his lightning loop's crazy. Just landing on the platform. Oh, jeez. Getting super aggressive with these, and oh, will it start the to jump. Them, though? Yeah. Oh, trying to call out a jump again. I'm uh, giving it to him. Yeah. All right, no, I like that. Quick attacking through the uh, through the up as well, actually. The hero spin. Oh, look at the up match. So close. At this percent, I'm, I'm curious to see why they go in this scene going for those. Oh, 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 hang on. Oh, so close. Dead yet, though. Oh, yeah. Playing it safe. Yeah, not even throwing one out as well. I mean, it's such a, it's such a yeah. good oh, that's it. drag down. There you go. Up smash. Beautiful yep. stuff. The t jolt is such a good move. Like, to just put them into hit stun, they can't do anything. Mm. And then you just confirm your, like, t jolt into a kill. So good. I don't know what Amoeba King was swinging for with those upbeats earlier. I, I think Pikachu yeah. was hitting around 80 and they were just going for it. Yeah, definitely. I can't I can't quite see what the plan was. 
Um, it is it is frame seven out of shield. But... I think he he <laughs> might have been thinking his lucky stars that Viola wasn't really punishing it, so he just thought, you know, let's just keep going for it until I die. <laughs> Ugh, just keep doing it till it works. Three, yeah. Exactly right. Two, one. Alright, meanwhile, back on town and see. Yeah, there you go, see you again. Here comes the lightning limbs. Look, that's what happens when you, if you get punished for the, uh, the yeah. upbeat. 33 uh, percent It's not too shabby a start, considering the upbeat itself would have done, what, like, uh, 10%, maybe 12%? Yeah. Oh, that was a good pledge, Ken. Getting on some damage now. Oh, just, just looking to grab. Look, oh, calling out jump. All right, more approaches from the F and Violet. Getting called out this time by Mega King. Yeah. By Mega King, rather, twice in a row. All right, Violet just choosing to approach from the other side of the stage with the upbeat. Cheeky back air, that's all. Really just playing footsies back at it again. I don't you, yeah, you usually definitely. see this kind of play from uh, from game one, but it seems like both players are still pretty pretty spooked by each other. Well um, I think it's more uh violent but doesn't know at all upbeat. what a Mubo King's gonna do. Like yeah. it's that unpredictable. Like and it's worked out in his favour for now, finding that yeah. upbeat. And it and a kill from it no less as well. That's a shame getting for a uh, cord smashing. Uh, into that storm. Oh, oh, catching the jump. Oh, look for the spike. Just... No punish there. Not even, not even an upbeat. It seems like that was kind of a Mibi King's go-to thing, but I don't know. Again, we don't know what he's got to do. Is it optimal? Maybe not. Is it crazy? Absolutely. Oh, oh yeah. Edge guard. No jump. Yeah, Violet's just really scared. And fair enough, to be honest. Yeah, the, the biggest thing that uh, Violet needs to find is just his approach option. Oh. Forward smash. Jeez, not gonna kill. Yeah. I like the idea for the dash attack. Oh, oh so close. Rolling in towards the bomb. Yeah. I guess Violet was really, was really looking to, to mark that bomb there. Oh, oh huge! Yep. <laughs> that has still like actually covered so many options there. And he had the bomb down as well, so he couldn't exactly roll. Oh, trying to call out a jump or something, though, but there you go. Reversing that this time with uh, yeah, you the back here. Yeah, uh, build down in uh, in stocks, but still up in game, so. I don't know, maybe, maybe just thinking, look, let's see if we can collect some data for next game. Yeah, maybe. It's going to be a very, very tough climb to, uh, to try and beat this mountain of oh, a link right now. Wants to end it. Ooh! A tiny little hit for the back air. Almost might have been enough to make Violet FD, but Violet was ready for it. Good DI. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Falling out the jump, yep. Yeah. It's amazing to see how quick that forward air is when it's not actually connecting with somebody. Like the, the difference yeah. between just like the, the empty swing compared to when it's actually already caught someone. Yeah, definitely. That comes out that's so That's a lot quickly. of like hit stun, yeah. Yeah, 100%. That's the word for it. <laughs> that's that's what I was looking for. <laughs> um, no, it's ex you're exactly right. Um, let me let me take a look actually. What, what's, the, what's the frame data on that, uh, on that forward air? Those swings are next to, next to no time between them. Yeah. Um, forward air is active on frame 16 and frame 24. Okay. Well, there you go. That's a little bit slower than I was expecting, to be honest, but... So, what, 16 to 24, so eight frames between. That's still pretty fast. Yeah. That is still pretty fast. Yeah. They're going to PS2 development, so... Why not? It's the, yeah. the, the final destination, except it's not... Yeah, it's PS2. 
But it's the final destination for the set, I think, because we are still on best of three. Uh, yeah, we are. This is the match to get into top eight losers. So. Exactly. All right. One, go! Get into it. So, no one near his largest stage. Um, yeah. Well, oh, actually, yeah, a PS2 is, is pretty close. Um, yeah, it is pretty close, yeah. yeah. Tanner City still, I think, contains his largest stage. Um, let's see. Nicely space forward tilt. Not going to be punished for it. But, the combos, they're starting. Again, the, every single time yeah. the forward smash, the back air is coming out from Violet. I wonder, can Amiibo yeah. can get that shield out in time? No, maybe he can't. Oh, great forward air. Uh, snuffing out Pikachu's forward air. Um, that's, oh, that's probably going to save Amiibo King's life for at least this stock. Yeah, Violet's got a good lead going on too. He's got the momentum. And that, that thunk of the, uh, the boomerang just kind of landing on the ground after being uh, yeah. traded with as well. It's kind of tragic, honestly. Especially now that it's not one of the Gale Boomerangs, it's just it's just a, a yeah. stick of wood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Violet just trying to play it safe, kind of just facing those F smashes, just like hoping that he just gets up. And if he jumps, then it's fine. Oh yeah, there you go. Gonna yeah. catch the first stock. I don't think he realized. <laughs> I feel like honestly I've seen more more tech to do with uh, Link's arrows with like Kirby using it uh, than I have yeah. with actual with Link. Um, <laughs> honestly, it's because like people just try and lab Kirby as much as they humanly can just to try and get yep, tech. No. But yeah. um, I don't know. I, I wonder is there is there anything kind of saucy that Link actually has with those arrows? I don't know. Surely we got, we got to check with Razi. Man with the play. Yeah, Alright, maybe King this time surely, hand. surely we just scroll down his Twitter and we find something Oh yeah, that's true. Well we'll find a full <laughs> a full document in like frame data and it will be spreadsheet. Yeah, he'll have a whole tutorial. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a billion views on YouTube. Um trying to catch out all these jumps, but Violet is is spacing pretty oh, well yep. until the up air comes out. Yeah. And it's been a, a bit of a slog this uh, game three, honestly. Neither player wants to wants to throw out anything too uh, heavily committing. Yeah, so they're gonna get punished hard for it. Again, like that jump, even. Yeah. One percent now on Amiibo King. Maybe to start, no. Amiibo King too scared to make the first move, and Violet's gonna punish oh, for no it. Jump. And no bomb either. No worry. No worry at all. Oh, is that it? No, just. Woo. I'll cover the double Ooh, he almost got F smash. Oh, he's on 0% though, so he's not gonna die. <laughs> Still big damage. Yeah. Alright, starting something, just trying to get Violet off stage. Yeah. Oh, calling it a jump, just a bit light. Oh, oh there good go. water, yup. Take it. That's a good lead too. Almost the whole stop. Absolutely. Violet could definitely still take that risk because, like, the, the percent difference was was still significant yeah. enough that uh, Violet probably wouldn't have had to tech anything like that there. Yeah. Um, cool. so she kind of, you know, Violet's got to run. And even it. even if you miss the tech, you're probably going to make it anyway because mm. Pikachu has good recovery. 100%. But here comes lightning loops. Oh, good shield. Yep. Yeah, and maybe King is is kind of swinging for the fences with these forward smashes, but Violet's not really at the percent where it's going to do that much to begin with. So, I don't know, I want to see if maybe King can maybe find something a little bit less committal, which can lead into something a little bit stronger. Yeah, definitely. This Pikachu's kind of just approaching like the upper half, maybe a combo percent. Well, now now more kill percent. Um, yeah. But at least at least earlier, there wasn't really too many combos coming through. Great oh, catch yep. in the neutral getter. Yeah. Usually active forward tilt as well. It's yeah. Dangerous. Definitely. <laughs> Alright, well, trying to run through the field. Oops, yeah, he's dodging the bomb. 
Oh, so close. Just missing that board out. Starts, but Pikachu just bounces as well. Maybe it might have been a maybe yeah. maybe King's Rage or something like that, but the up throw to yeah, maybe. up throw didn't do anything. No follow up on the drag down. Yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, oh that almost narrowly missed back there. Yeah, that would have been really good. Oop. Any any oh, way to sort of start some damage? No, good. Oh, Don't do it. Absolutely dead. That was pretty close. Like, I am sure Violet would have been very scared that still would have lost it. Hmm. Could have. Um. But yeah, that's it. That's top. Well, top eight is next. So, absolutely. So, do we know what's the uh, what's the timing for top eight? Are we, uh, um, are we coming back in a hot second or? I don't know. My comeback six or something. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, look, I think we'll we'll probably take a just a quick break. Um, yeah, I'd say a break. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, I think we'll probably be back at about six or so. I might, I might grab myself yep. a, a quick cup of tea. Everyone, everyone, take a yeah. take a drink break. Um, Five plus, maybe depending on. We'll see. Exactly. But, yeah. right. We'll be back. We'll be back in just a little bit.
Alrighty, is it time? Um, I guess, yeah. I think we're back into it. Fantastic. All right, Froggy, he's put himself in the in the spectator arena. You know what that's? You know what that means? I mean, it means it's time to smash. Let's continue. Let's keep it going. Uh, we're all, we're all yeah, watered. We're all fed. All sufficiently yeah. braked, I guess. Broken? No, actually, but that's bad. You don't want to be broken. We we've had a break. I think that's the most important part. Um. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> um, oh, we can see the screen. I just right, got to... Um. Have you done a Q or something already? Oh yeah, cool. Got it. Cool. We're seeing Dork vs Violet. Oh, okay. All right, let's get into it. So Dork. pick a Mario. So I believe all of the top eight is streamed, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it pops it's not most three. of it. Maybe I don't know. Might be. Oh, top right, eight. Okay. oh no, no, no. We're doing losers. Okay. So we are doing all top eight. Yeah. So Dork and Violet going to be losers round one. Yeah. Um. So Dork. Yeah, beating Mr. Krabs. Meanwhile, Violet just beating out the Amiibo King. So Amiibo King shy of top eight for this one. Um, but I would say I would argue that the competition was pretty pretty fierce for the Invitational. So yeah, congratulations definitely. to everybody who's made it to the top twelve. I'm pretty sure we're putting together a graphic for the top twelve upwards. Yeah, we are. I'm um, about to. Uh -uh. About to start it. Yeah, I'm about to get people to. Ah, awesome. We'll start, it. we'll start it. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. I mean, speaking of starting, let's get into it. Mario and Pikachu, a battle and a, a, a matchup as old as time itself. If time started back in uh, oh, wait, yeah, 90, 99, I guess. Three, two, 99? I think it was. One, I did go. Smash 64. Yeah, more or less. I do the list real quick. 99. <laughs> God, I'm smart. Anyway, uh, starting on Smashville. Yeah. Um, yeah, beautiful case. Uh, that's that's going to be a pretty important part of his neutral if uh, if I yeah. be approaching with them more, than, more times than not. Especially if you're throwing out a um, fireball and then you get the cape as well. Mm. Yeah, that's true. It's uh, it's double double projectiles, a bit of extra damage. Yeah. Okay, so I'm interested to see because Violet was at least against the Mebo King playing quite cautiously. Dork meanwhile yeah. kind of throws caution to the wind for the most part. Yeah, definitely. So I don't know. Let's see. He finds the up smash. So Dork is already starting uh, in a pretty commanding fashion. But right. in saying that, I feel like Violet will be more comfortable as well, especially against Mario because he doesn't Ooh. have like the disjoints. So it links out. Violet as well, got that phenomenal read on the roll in, but immediately yeah. threw out the, uh, the up smash, unfortunately. Yeah. So it was a great idea, but because they'd already gotten the they'd already gotten the jab lock as well, so there was no way oh, they could confirm. Yep. That Even better confirm. Phenomenal. Um, so back to even, back to dead even. Violet already yeah. playing uh, much much kind of cleaner than we've seen. I mean, this, yeah. this is top eight Violet we're talking about though. Right, Dorp was swinging for the fences with that forward air. Um, even though, even though the last two hits of that combo just straight up just weren't even anywhere near. Uh, I don't know, overcommitting potential, but that's look, that's that's Dorp, baby. He's gonna he's gonna swing for the fences <laughs> and see what happens. Double forward air, why not? Right, yeah. More, more neutralize that shield. Oh, good reverse up smash. Yeah, just catch, just punishing that. Like back at throwing mm. I have to wonder if Dork is going for a, or is using uh, tilt or smash. Here. Yeah. Um, mainly just because I, I find it so hard to go for reverse up smashes, and I'm curious. Yeah. Because uh, it probably it, it, it's definitely easier. To smash oh, for sure. Yeah, infinitely easier. It's I don't know. I I, I personally I, I can't figure it out. Tilt stick. Yeah. I love tilt stick, but. Alright, yeah. there you go. Oh, and gets oh, the there roll. There you go, the roll in. Yep. Beautiful stuff. Violet did the exact same thing in the first stock. But uh, this time, held the timing for a little bit longer. Yeah. Oh, not too much stage. Oh, just missing that back air. It's like, ripped back from Violet. Mm. Damage here? Oh, the snare. <laughs> oh, that's good. Nerd's now playing Super Smash Bros. also. You'd, you'd hope so, he's on the winner side of this, uh, this practice. Yeah, you'd hope, you'd hope so. You'd hope he'd be practicing. Yeah. Warming up. <laughs> or at least, you know, have the game open. 
Violet on 170 percent though. Like, Dorf is definitely looking for either a back throw, as you can see, as well the up smash. Yeah. Um, still fishing for it. He wants it. The nair. That's all he needs. Frame three or four, I believe. And coming out. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna kill too. Oh, some combos. Edge guard, maybe. Oh, oh, okay. oh, good, good tech. Good tech. It's so hard to tech that as well. I mean, look, I think yeah. Violet wouldn't be able to get back, but it's it's so dangerous if you are. Yeah, because it's it. a multi hit, it's so hard. Yeah. Mm. And, the, and the stage spike angle is so awkward. And it's just got a yeah. decent amount of base knockback as well, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, the up smash. Gorgeous stuff. Alright, Dork actually going to steal that game. Violet, game number one. Now, as we said earlier, everything from the top eight onwards is going to be a best of five scenario. So, yeah. on the loser side, on the other side as well, turn up already winning 3 1 over Goon. Um, so, we're, we're straight into it. He's He doesn't mess around. Yeah. So, after this match, we'll be going over the uh, winner's side. So, I we're like streaming well. half of losers pretty much. Mm. Or two thirds. Right, right, okay. That makes sense. Okay, back to it. Smash yeah. the platform, drag itself in. I always, I always get worried whenever the uh, the platform slides in. I'm like, man, do we get the turn hazard on? <laughs> but no, it, it, look, it has to get there somehow. God forbid if you could just start there, but I don't know. Yeah. Well, the TNC one start there. Oh, damn. Yeah, that was huge. Violet like, catch him with the jump. This is this is a new Violet, honestly. Yeah. He's much more comfortable than he was before. Mm. Like fish more. Oh, here we go. Okay, alright, down for a straight into the back. combo end. early, yeah. Uh, I no, think he might have thought he was uh, overshooting his man a bit too much. Mm. And it wouldn't hit, maybe. Yeah, I think trying to follow combos with that as well. If you're trying to look for an air and you, you try to go for a drift and you drift a little too hard and you try to different aerial instead as well, that's always, that's yeah. always a problem. Oh, okay, oh, fine. Yeah. Dork answering back. Only 60% down now. Starting something, up throw straight into the up air. Oh. No down air or anything to speak of. Oh, good conversion off the platform. Absolutely. But just like stuffing it up. Small punish for Violet, Not, nothing too big, but definitely converting it into an advantage now. Right, falling out of the forward air, and Dork not going to be chucking out the you know, scared air dodge or anything like that. Yeah. Oh, oh. Good recovery, Sensei. Violet going again uh, for that Thunder. And immediately looking for. Um, we can get him back there. Oh, he wants the stock. Yeah, both both players are at that kind of percent. Oh, I like the I like the attempt there as well. That conversion. Yeah. To the I'm gonna find it, however. Violet oh, really like that Violet really <laughs> <laughs> It was like three spot dunks. The one interaction. There was like three the good border there. Catch him down. Absolutely. What a what a mess that was. There was a bit of bit of spaghetti for a hot second there. Yeah, oh for God. sure. <laughs> oh, oh almost what he has dude. But Pikachu is still different, so. Okay, going for the down air. Waiting for the up smash. I like the fact that Violet was waiting for that up smash, but Dork is also kind of waiting for Violet to wait for that up smash too. Good conversion of the good attack there. Oh, even good better conversion of that like fireball too. Yeah. Beautiful stuff. Snuffing out, I think, Violet's forward smash and going for a back air every yeah. time to steal it. So. Good now, just getting him off him. Oh, okay, bit of a bit of a bait. <laughs> Violet spamming up beat. Going for a fly. He's in the corner though. That's true, yeah. The stage presence is definitely dork right now, even though Violet yeah. has a 60 off percent lead. Oh, he's got it now. Look, fireball, stuffing him out. 
You'd think with Thunder Jolt, Violet would have a bit of experience as to you know, how to potentially get around this stuff, but... Yeah. Dork, Dork is definitely making it work. Up throw, Thunder, no, nothing. No dodge, no jump. No, good landing. Wasn't expecting that early recovery. Dork probably wasn't expecting Violet to also just straight up back off. Yeah, um, true. Well, the, the Fireball did. So... Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair enough. Fireball. Yeah. Pikachu, oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's see that. Exactly, just uh, well, very slowly approaching the shield there. Oh, oh, is that true? Yeah. yeah. Later. That's it. Man, man. Well, just... on damage. Well, it's just standing there. I, I, I always love that last couple of seconds after uh, after the game screen comes up. And you just you just have a character just, just, just standing there. Like, you know, maybe someone's yeah. taunting, maybe they like charge smash attack, something like that. Yeah. My, my, my favorite is, is still definitely like, if you get a kill and then you just immediately up B with King DDD. You're just like, all right, I'm out. I'll, I'll see you later. <laughs> my people yeah. leave me. All right, one all. But it's not the deciding game just yet, but the best of five still ahead. So, I don't know, game three, I, I would like to think game three or game four in a situation like this, is usually going to be the momentum decider, I'd say. Yeah. Um, because I mean, look, if, if once you start a, uh, you know, once you start to get this kind of lead, um, it can be a little bit demoralizing um, for your opponent. But I don't know. At the same time, both players are kind of swinging a little bit, uh, a little bit harder than they have previously. So. Yeah, definitely. They started to figure each other out a little. That's so. true. That's definitely true. And they got clean stocks, they're not running at 180% or whatever Dwarf was on at the end now. <laughs> Alright, we do keep, do keep returning to Smashville as well. Hey, yeah. Uh, Dwarf, again. Look, no, one, no, one's, uh, no one's expecting that double hit of that down air. I think it's because Dwarf is really looking to... Oh, great Dwarf, catch the Edod! Yeah. Just not going oh, to and it. again! <laughs> I got it again! <laughs> Because on the other side of the stage of all places. Right. What? Uh, yeah, the first one didn't kill. <laughs> and then it killed, killed him off the other side of the stage. Oh my god. Can, can someone edit that, that little clip there? But with like ACDC stunned up, but both of them get from like the, from the, opening, uh, from the opening chorus. And if, if no one does it, I'm, you know, I'm gonna, I gotta clip my dance so. up. That was, that was phenomenal. Uh. Honestly, the timing actually could be kind of perfect. But regardless, back to the <laughs> back to the game. Okay, Violet is holding onto this stock, and Dork kind of oh. letting his own stock Forward. slip away. Oh. No forward Lord. smash, but just a dash attack yeah. instead. I wonder if that's going to come back and bite him. I don't know. Oh, yep. Beautiful, beautiful conversion. It's finally worked out for Dork. Oh, no, he's- Oh, wow, you can still get back. Oh, yeah. Neutral air dodge, that's why I see. Yeah. Upon, upon further inspection. Ooh, bit of a funny knockback from the update. Mm. Maybe the rage just kind of... Pushing him a bit too far. Oh, look for up airs, but no real conversion of it, just stage control. Mm. Yeah, the sense is evening up a little bit. Yeah. Nice. Gets an air out of shield. Kind of cross. Try oh, and get rid of him. Any anyway, approach that. The rage just kind of almost killing Violet there. It's the uh, down end. Ooh. All right, get him away. Yeah. It's definitely yeah. evening up. Like really close. And we saw as well, so Dork uh, is absolutely no stranger when it comes to getting good kills with Flood. Um, but yeah, Pikachu definitely. is no stranger just to completely getting around and just kind of navigating yeah. around that Flood as well. So yeah, I, wonder what, I wonder what Dork can actually do to make a happy 4 day. Definitely going to yep. If it's that good DI as well, uh, head it, head it yeah. straight out the, uh, the top left corner. Alright, short hop back here. Delays it as well for a bit of extra source. Oh, Ooh, good really there. awkward angle. Yeah. Oh, oh, catching him every time. Good damage. Oh, oh yeah, the, the fireball. There you go. No jump. No stop there. Yeah. That was huge. 
Oh, that guy's low. What oh, good DI. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, they're just kind of playing footsies and like reversing on each other. But Violet's maintaining a bit of control now. That's the thing, yeah. It's definitely definitely a lot of footsies, but it's all in uh, Violet's favor for the most part. Stork hasn't really yeah. found something opening, except for that jab and maybe a couple of hits earlier. Yeah. Landing forward air, again, I'm, I don't know. I, I'm curious as to what yeah. that landing forward air is about. It surely can't be that safe. I mean, you can combo off it, probably, if they drop shield. Right, okay. But still not that great, but that was classic confirm. Mm. Now no, that's really Violet clean. Take, taking the lead yeah. in store. It's pretty big. They were, they were playing footsies for a lot of it, but Violet got a lot more off, like, one hit. You got a lot more off it. Mm. Oh, Just definitely. really clean. Just took it. Alright, so game number four. The momentum starting to shift into to Violet's favor, but are we going to see any swaps, both in, in characters or anything? Um, I don't think so, but Dorf this time has chosen to go to PS2, so we're, we're straying away from, uh, from Smashville, finally. Um, gonna be going to PS2. Yeah. Look, as as they say, they make the best game. You can't <laughs> look, you can't say anything otherwise. You know, it's an old classic. <laughs> Double up, triple ups for that. Oh my lord, huge! <laughs> why, do we, why, why does it work? Oh, the cave actually looking around the ground <laughs> at uh, the grab. It was the biggest bait of all time. You knew the cave was coming out. You said, "You fool! I'm I'm already ready to grab." Yeah. Okay. Violet going for that forward smash, but the added uh, added layer of those platforms coming out in absolute clutch the door front. Oh Whoa. my lord. I think it was last hit of down air maybe? Yeah, look multi hits training into multi hits so it's always a yeah. it's always a strange thing to try and keep track of, but it definitely yeah. worked with door fair. Starting something. 31% from just four hits. Oh really good just Oh, like tech chase. All right, goodbye, Violet. Stay away. You might see a lot more blood from Dork uh, now that he's got that lead too. Um, yeah, true. Okay. Just to keep him off then. Exactly right. B. Maintain his stock so much longer. I'm getting a take on both of those uh, thunder jobs at the same time. That's value for money right there. Frank Frank Walker would be proud. Oh. <laughs> Getting the spot dodge. That back throw probably would have killed. Oh, so close. Again. Violet wants to finish that stuff now. Violet definitely has to as well. Yeah. With, with Mario is, is getting away from her. Oh, that, that might be it. Ooh. Yep, that's it. That was going back out. Yeah. Oh, look. That was clean conversion of the up -ends. Spot dodges, more up smashes. Oh my god. Why was why was that as close as it was? Reads upon reads or it might just be might just be a little bit a little bit of mashing. Both directly both directly as likely. Dork's definitely loving the up smash. Like like at the moment. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, uh, definitely. I mean, look, being being such a safe, such a safe move, but also such a strong move as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's definitely one of Mario's uh, better better tools to kill with. Yeah, definitely. Cool. Up airs. No con no real conversion on the side. A little bit of damage. I have to admit as well. I think Dork's ability to to combo even when there are a lot of trades going on. Um, yeah. in, like mid combo as well is really really impressive. Like if he's getting hit out of his combos, but the opponent still gets hit too. Like nine times out of yeah. ten, he's going to be the first one to swing there. Um, yeah, definitely. Beautiful conversion there. But I think yeah, it's just overall it's definitely got to be safe because especially with impressive. like Pikachu who has a lot of multi hits. Yeah, exactly. And like their ranges are pretty similar with uh, Mario and Pikachu. Mm. So you will get like plenty of trades. Oh, good shield pressure. 
Oh, that could have that could have been <laughs> bad. Oh, that could have been worse. Keep seeing these swings oh. everywhere. Oh, oh can like he oh, put oh, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I guess he just didn't have enough time. Mario. Don't what? jump. The lag on that must have been must have been a mess. I feel like he could have upbeat though. Mm. From I agree. Or maybe he tried to do an up B, but he like buffered another side B. Mm. But game five now, really close. So let's take a look at these bands. We're going to town this time. Alrighty, so. Violet choosing to go to town, maybe he's looking for a couple yeah. more kills off the side instead. And a, he has a bit more, um... You can probably control space a bit better with T-Belt as well. Like That's he true. Make, he can make more space. Mm. And especially when that center platform, uh... You know, when that center platform's sort of not there, and I guess it just becomes FD to be completely honest, but... Yeah. yeah those side platforms are definitely scary when a Pikachu standing on top of them with thumb jobs. Yeah, definitely. But I, I, I'd there like are... to think that Violet, uh, like the old Violet, I'd say the pre-top 8 Violet would have uh, would have been happy to kind of go for those things, but this, this crazy Violet, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, but also with the side platforms, they also help Mario. Oh my god. Oh, that was huge. That was phenomenal. Back Both with my backers. Missed tech or something. Oh shit. Violet, oh, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> going out there. Well, this is crazy Violet. Oh, oh no. What oh, conversion? Just not enough to set for those up airs. Oh. oh yeah, good grab. Also, the high ceiling doesn't uh like doesn't really help Mario at all, but you also have those side platforms that really do help him. That's true. I'm I'm kind of scared about a cheeky back throw. You know, seventy percent on those platforms. That's, yeah, that's what you true. don't want. All right, Dork sneaking in these back has been really, really good with those. Yeah, really. Oh, okay, landing nares again. More, more small hits, small hits to see if we can. Uh, yeah. If we can catch. Oh, no, something to turn it into. Oh, looking to end of that. Down throw. A lot of down throw. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think down throw to back air for Mario is, is true, maybe with the exception of the DI out. Yeah. yeah. Maybe more just to catch people off guard. You can you can probably read the DI though. Yeah. Got a bit of an extra run. Yeah. They have a violet converting. Yeah. It's still looking really good for Dork though. Stock ahead. Oh definitely. Oh, his combos. Oh good trade. Oh but again Dork just converting off the trade. It doesn't matter. Oh, hang on. Platform's <laughs> going away. Dork, no. Oh, he's still at his jump. We're okay, we're okay. Well, forward is. Oh, good dash attack. Really active. That forward smash almost hitting the skull dash. Dork, looking for something. I don't know what the jab was there. Yeah. Oh, oh great, huge. Great wait yeah. on the up smash. Oh, rather on the on the air dodge. To catch yeah. the up Definitely. There you go. Well done there. It's the first first set we've had on stream for top eight. Um, yeah. And what a set it was. You know, really close. It, what it was actually, honestly. Jeez, best of five. Yeah. We got the game five. And we're going over the winner's side now, so... Probably going to see Zep Pro versus Lone Zen. So, two robs, actually. I think uh, I think for this one, we're actually we're going to be bringing... Because Zep Pro and Lone Zen might have been played on the other side. Yeah? Or on oh, the other yeah, screen. maybe. Uh, yeah, so maybe they have Gura and Nerd are going to be coming through this time for winner semis. Um, so, what's that going to be, I guess? Surely, surely we're going to see the, uh, the Luigi up against uh, one of Jura's characters, but don't know which one yet. Oh, no. We're, yeah, we're going Jura and Nerd, yeah. Dork's still just mad chilling in the, uh, in the arena, though. The so Luigi versus Joker, I imagine. All right, let's see. Jura sending the messages. What's the pick gonna be? He said uh, hello. Probably... Going Joker. There we go. 
Nerd Nerd probably has the best online Luigi, I want to say. Yeah, I, I would like, uh, I would not argue with that at all. Like, like, def cool. Definitely for from results, at least. Mm. Like... Any... Oh. Oh, wait. Was that... I don't know, I don't know what happened. Oh, no, that was Dork. <laughs> Dork was still was in Dork, there. Okay, just, yeah. <laughs> I was dip. like, was that Dora? <laughs> like, yeah, uh, yeah, Dura uh, DQ'd immediately. Um, yeah. When, when you saw Mr. Rossetti, oh, I gotta get out of here. Something scary, that I actually, um, I forgot to mention mm. is, um, that Dura, uh, their name originally was Pacino. Ah, right, you, okay. You're more likely to know, yeah. Uh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't realize the name change. Well, that makes a lot yeah. of sense. I, I honestly, I honestly wondered where Pacino went. Um, <laughs> and 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 here they are. Yeah. yeah. Look, honestly, that makes that makes a lot more sense. But so Pacino, uh, yeah, definitely, definitely a Joker extraordinaire. Yeah, definitely. Um, and now, now Dura, I'm still Joker extraordinaire. I don't think the name change really <laughs> changed the game. Really changed much. Yeah. Um. So we're starting Maybe with the fan for FD as well. He did a well. shorter name. That's, yeah, that's true. Easy to type out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, everyone knows that everyone with like, isn't it like four four letter tags or like the really short tags? Apparently, they're, yeah. they're super super good. I don't know why. It's because I'm um, melee, right? You can only oh. have so many letters. True. So yeah, because melee is optimal. Mm. Oh, melee is optimal. Yeah, you, you, yeah, exactly. It's objectively the best game in the world. Yeah. Um, based on based on skill. Um. And you just can't, you just can't do it. Anyway, Three, moving on. Two, Got Joker. Go. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, starting on battlefield. Um, yeah. So Jura also. Yeah, who's, who's pick for that as well? So yeah, Jura picking battlefield for the game number one. Yeah. So yeah, with, with a matchup like this, I think. Jura is probably not afraid at all to just go for, and what, with what we saw earlier as well, just the yeah. kind of campy herb play style, you know, going for those guns, going yeah, for the definitely. AR, trying to tap up damage without really committing to anything. Yeah, and um, he can commit yeah. a little bit more, like, as his ascent goes up a little. Yeah, exactly right. But you're still going to be scared. Um, yeah, definitely. So, Nerd, meanwhile, I don't really see Nerd go for too many like phenomenally hard reads, but I think Nerd's combo game... Oh, he's down. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Nerd's, Nerd's combo game is uh, is really, really strong. Um, yeah, as, as, as most Luigi should be. I feel like there are yeah. definitely a couple of Luigi oh, players reading who... reading the air dodge bit with Drift. Huge. Oh, looking for that conversion. Nice forward air. Oh, Even better huge. back air to kill. There you go. Yeah, evening it out. Yeah, you can find that little pocket of space where uh, where Joker's, or rather Arsene's going to be recovering and uh, you can go yeah. to hitbox there. That's, uh, that's pretty real estate. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely expecting kind of immediate options from Jura. Meanwhile, Jura's just kind of Ooh, waiting for what's going to Punish? Oh, just missing the punish. Uh, it's it's so strange as well. Zare's always such an unreliable tool to try and counter yeah. with Ahar from Joker. Oh, that quad smash was beautiful. Oh, yeah, it was. Yeah, honestly, like playing reactively against Luigi is, is quite good, and I think Jura's doing it really well yeah, so definitely. far. So I want to see if Nerd can adapt to that. All right, finding that back here. Great jump around good with the side dish. Yeah. Yeah, arguably. The, actually, definitely the oh, <laughs> What the <yeah>. hell? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> Man, I was gonna say, arguably the worst part about uh, Luigi is, is recovery, but I mean, look, you can kind of make up for it with those wild swings. You know, it still definitely has a pretty decent deficit. Why, did, why, why do you need a recovery when you have that OP? Alright, just goes for, a, goes for a misfire under the stage. <laughs> Alright, converting that up air to back air, beautiful stuff. Up tilt? Oh, oh not converting up it. Yeah, I think, um, Nerd might be a little bit scared, possibly. Oh, yeah. I that lost was, no jump. That was a huge yeah. intimidation factor there, yeah. So, no way, I was yeah. had to burn everything to get back, and I think, uh, I uh, probably just thought, look, if I, if I side B into Jura, it's a, that's a free, um, free down B. 
Yeah. It's it's dangerous for Joker, and Joker can edge guard him for free, honestly. So we just have to yeah, try definitely. and avoid him as much as possible. Yeah. Right, so game number one, going to Dura. Um, I honestly haven't seen these guys play against each other, um, if um, I'm being honest. Yeah, they're usually seated to play each other, like, close to the end. Right, okay. But also, um, Dura didn't, like, hasn't really played too much recently. Mm. Like, they've only recently come back from a fair bit of a break. Mm. But, well, and I, th yeah. I think that's why, because I feel like the the reign of Bacino and the reign of Nerd kind of came at, at two different points in uh, in yeah, sort of life my history, definitely. so to speak. Yeah. So I don't know. It's interesting to see how these guys uh, Three, are fare against each other. Two, but one, yeah, go! going to PS2 this time. So Battlefield, we don't want we don't want more, uh, more platforms. We just wanna draw some Pokemon. In there. Let's see. Beautiful pivot grab to start something. No, no split yeah. down now. Alright, go to the cyclone. Oh, good frame one. Actually, no, that might not have been frame one in this round. Uh, yeah, I think around it's a little bit slower. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so too. But, uh, but regardless, I, I mean, mean even, even with those Dragon up airs and uh, yeah. being as kind of strange as they are, I think being able to cyclone out of them is probably a nice little, nice yeah, little definitely. thing for Luigi. Because I think um, Luigi's down B is the same as Lucina's up B. Like frame oh, okay. one, it's invincibility. Right, right. It's it's frame one invincibility in the air. Yeah, in the air. Yeah. It's insane. I don't know. Frame I mean, four on I, the ground. Yeah. I say it's insane, like thank you, but that's <laughs> um, that's I, that's that's interesting. I, I didn't know that. All right, nerd going for those four days because if you Ooh, catch them, they kill. The eye. Yeah. Bit of bit of botch the eye. That's You're huge. Okay, yeah. Dropping that first stuff. The, the weird thing about Cyclone is if you DI it correctly, you can live to like 180. Yeah, like, I know. In all honesty, but then if you, if you DI it incorrectly, if you find yeah. somewhere to get a cross up, like, okay, we're gonna die 100. 100, 100. yeah. Ooh. All right, going, oh. going super low there, trying to avoid those guns. Yeah. I think he actually got like nipped by. Oh, bro, my. Ah, uh, yeah, that's such uh, a shame. Yep. It's all he did have the knock weight though, so he's got a bit of a damage, likely. Mm. Yeah, that's definitely true. Although, he's outside of the kind of traditional zero to death percent as well, so he's gonna yeah, have to true. work a tense bit harder to find those kills. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Oh, he yeah, definitely wouldn't have yeah. killed anyway. Yeah. Alright, nice. Dura waiting for that air dodge there. Cyclone still comes through. Really good pressure, like with the back airs there too, mm. on shields. Yeah, Luigi's quite floaty, but I think his, his back air is also incredibly long too. And like Mario, it's probably yeah. his best facing tools. Oh no, Jar's yeah. looking that up here. Like besides, like there, which there is a lot longer, like uh, it takes a lot longer to come out than uh, there as well, so. Yeah, oh definitely. It's pretty good. Alright, oh, nice, converting that there. Oh, no line. good DI, yeah. Uh, Lucky's moving from Jura as well. It's, it's really, really small short hops of Joker of uh, paying off the dividends when it comes to baiting out options. Yeah, definitely. Oh, really yeah. good empty hop there too, yeah. Oops. Oh, Whoa. it could be end on Jin. Yeah, that was a really good punish as well. For me. Oh, friends. <laughs> there you go. Cyclone coming out again. Oh, oh that, getting caught by guns it. Might have saved me. Oh, oh damn. Yeah, honestly, look like the the, <laughs> the misfire down there would have killed him uh, had it not been yeah. for the gun. But I think, yeah, still was put in a super super bad spot there. So Jura is running away with this game so far. We're up to game number three now. Alright, so we're sticking with the same band, so let's see what nerd is going to go for. So, Jura actually banned FD Kalos for the first time. So let's see what nerd's going to go for. See, the thing about the thing about banning against Luigi as well is, uh, oh, no, never mind. We're swapping to Mewtwo. 
Um, so okay. I won't, I won't, yeah. I won't follow up on that anecdote. But we're going to go for town and city yeah, as well. That's, so some, that's some secondary features. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. So let's see how this is going to work out. Yeah. You two, I feel like off stage one as well. Yeah, off stage definitely will do a lot better than what Luigi does. Mm. Um. I feel like his advantage state, that, like as Luigi, was too good, like in the previous game, as well. And um, you two can definitely go for those edge guards as well. Yeah, that's that's definitely true. It seemed like he was playing yeah. a little bit more neutrally um, than I've, I've yeah. seen from there before. But it was also because yeah, Jura seemed to be getting out a lot of uh, the combos that no was yeah, going definitely. for anyway. Um, but this is also the first time I've actually seen uh, Nerd play as Mewtwo with those uh, with those buffs as well. So I think they buffed. Uh... Yeah, true. Yeah. Ooh. Down throw and uh, teleport as well as left wing. Yeah, and on top of that, I think it was a uh, uh, I want to say back air and up air. Like that's strong. Uh, yeah, I think I so. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, Let's... yeah. Jesus, that was maybe for... yeah, maybe forward to cut them up. I don't know. Like, honestly, Jura might not have even expected him to be able to act as quickly as he did. Oh, good. Uh, oh, it's in. Uh, Rebel Scott. Absolutely. Got that, got that out pretty, pretty damn quickly. Jeez, no, just teleporting straight through the platform. He ignores the uh, laws of physics. Just, doesn't matter. Just get straight through there. There you go, starting with that weak up air. I, I'm pretty sure you can convert off of that as well. Yeah, I may I be wrong. So. Weak I up air is a weird one. Grab. Possibly if you do a landing. Oh, jeez. Alright, beautiful teleport. Jura's ready for it though. Yeah, catching on the landing. Yeah. Oh, damage on that board. So through. close to us and Nerd is pretty close to dead as well. Like, one hit could end either of these two, actually. Oh, I do yeah, like I go. do like how willing Nerd's gonna uh, uh, sorry rather how willing Nerd is to go down um, and try and face Jura off the stage there, especially yeah. given the fact that the last two games have been playing as Luigi, so you can't really do that. Yeah, he can def like, he definitely has the ability to put that pressure on mm. stage. Exactly right. All Nerd needs is a grab, and then uh, it's gonna be the stop. One forty-two. Oh no, getting the weak dash attack this time. Oh, good effort, yep. The crunchy really effort. This is still looking really good for the time. Oh, some good damage. 50. He continues. 50, 52 out of that. Well, endless hide me as well. Yeah. This is actually looking like a really nice comeback. Possibly. Shit, oh, you going all the way out there. That was clean. Oh my god, edge guard was immense. Nerd kind of invented now. I can see what he can get off it. Oh, Drew, converting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Drew short popping over the disable as well. We haven't seen many of those come out from Nerd, so he's got to be. Oh, good reflex. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta be worried about that uh, that down as well, because that's gonna be still a free stock. And Jura nowhere near last name for now. Look at that movement. Oh, Heck of a oh quite close. Okay, up smash instead. Where's uh, that it? Down yeah. throw looking for something? No. Yep. You might have been looking for a uh, for a missed tech on the platform. Yeah, or spot dodge maybe. Mm. I mean air dodge. Alright, 81, Jura's getting close to us then. No uh, jump on Nerd. Oh, again, no jump on Nerd. Oh, no, oh, gets the that it. That's Ooh, it. Oh. No. That's so unfortunate. Jura's advantage just, like, was really good. And, like, uh, Nerd had to win, like, neutral so many more times than Jura, like, months. Damn. Yeah, I think a clean I three O. Absolutely. It, it looked like uh, it looked like Nerd had tried to go for like an upbeat to try and snap the ledge, and then yeah. somehow it like drops down, then upbeat upwards or something like that, and it put him in a super yeah. bad spot. Yeah, definitely. Did. 
But uh, it looks like Nerd and Dork are going to be coming back onto the stream. So now we've, we've had them both on stream. So let's see. Are we just going to see yeah. the cute Mario and Luigi? Brothers, brothers fighting each other. <laughs> oh, so Dork, no, Dork is going Snake. He doesn't want to. Uh, oh, cool. Uh, he doesn't want to. Doesn't want to go into Mario and Luigi. Let's see. But uh, I guess he doesn't ask to approach, really, a Snake. So definitely like good matchup. Yeah, no, that's or, that's a fair point. Yeah. I think it. I'd say it's a winning matchup, but. I'd say as well, uh, Snake's disadvantage is probably uh, is actually yeah. pretty good to exploit as Luigi. Yeah, especially like, considering he's a heavy as well. Mm. Yeah, so the traditional zero to death I don't think actually works on Snake uh, yeah. anywhere outside of Final Destination for some reason. Yeah, oh, just wow. with the lower okay. blast zone. Um, so you need, you, need you to get a good damage on it first. Apparently, I've heard rumors yeah. that uh, doesn't, doesn't know the zero to death. Right, okay. <laughs> Interesting. You know what, part of me, look, part of me respects him for it. Well, I mean, surely, <laughs> I'd like to think that he knows the zero to death. Um, but whether or not he actually implements it, I think is a different story. It, it can be super difficult yeah. to actually use online as well. Yeah, that um, as well, yeah. Because if there's can't even like a... as well. Stuff, exactly, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so I'm, I'm sure he probably doesn't, uh, he might not like actively go out of his way to practice it. Yeah. There's True. still definitely, you know, concerns and combos that you can find. Yeah. But, and it's also it's also good though because people sometimes get scared, you know, hey, what are we gonna do? Oh, is he gonna show that he doesn't know the to death? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, it's like in Wii Bowling and like the audience is like, ah. Oh. <laughs> when you silly landed in the cutter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, gets around that. Oh, Walk back here, yeah, beautiful. Oh, punish. No. Oh wow, oh, that yeah, guy caught him. Yeah. Super unfortunate. Dork is sitting pretty right now. 50%. Yeah. This is where Snake can start taking those trades. That's what he likes. Yeah, definitely. You've got to approach him, so... Oh, <laughs> oh. oh man, oh man. Dork wanted the board it. No, just chucked yeah. out two down is. Yeah, Dork wanted the spike. But really, it was the bait. <laughs> oh, no, goes to the dash attack. I was expecting maybe a, a jab lock there. I think it might kill. Yeah. It's, it's, I don't know, it's always scary to try to figure out whether or not you want to just immediately follow oh, up. Clean. Oh, forward smash. So close. A bit more rage and he probably could have had that. Oh, don't, oh don't that was maybe clean, I don't know what that was. Yeah. I'd say the up smash, I don't think anything else would have killed uh, off the top like yeah. that. Help without getting that sweet zoom in for the up -y. Oh, but here we go, here comes the Nikita's. Oh, oh, team going over. Started. Dash attack. Oh, great oh, catch from the back line as well. Me, yeah. Alright, using F tilt is a bit of a spacing tool, I guess. It, it's all of, uh, all of Luigi's tilts are all frame 5. Oh, yeah. Um, but at the same time, F tilt is pretty damn unsafe on shield. Uh, yeah. There. So, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you can potentially use it as a spacing tool, that's really about it. Max spacing, potentially, it looks alright. But I don't know. Oh, oh god, alright, he's very dead. Oh, actually, <laughs> he had the as well. Yeah, yeah that was Shoot, looking a little small. And, yeah. Looking a little off stage right now. Oh, just trying to get past the up smashes. Oh, good spot dodge. Alright, Dork now, the one on off stage. Ooh, Waiting for that Ed Odin as well. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> you right. I, don't, I don't know how many smash attacks I saw in the last couple of seconds, but it was it was a fair. It was fair a, a, for like at least three, maybe. Forward smash is is such such a good move for uh, for Luigi, honestly. Yeah, it, it it's deceptively like it's deceptively small, but you can also angle it really, really well. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it's so strong as well, actually. Yeah. yeah I don't know. It's, so it's something that a lot of people under under sort of appreciate because like yeah, you know, ha, ha, up B big and kills at like forty. 
Yeah, Luigi definitely has kill options. I mm. think the biggest thing that he struggles with is with his floatiness. Um, it's hard to get in because you mm. can't like jump over projectiles as easy and stuff mm. like that. You also can't empty hop and bait stuff either, which is a shame. Yeah. Um, that's that's one of his. I, I'd, I'd honestly argue like. In terms of Luigi's neutral, I'd say that's probably one of his biggest issues. Like, yeah. I don't know, just, just like the back and forth between people, it's very hard to bait people to approach. Yeah, no. Um, I mean, obviously, pivot grab is great um, if you do somehow manage to get someone to you know, swing at you. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just a matter of actually throwing out stuff um, in a relatively safe fashion. So let's see. Jab's not going to be rocking that grenade, unfortunately. No, it's no. just standing there. <laughs> no, I had to quickly just uh, take a sip of water for a second. He's, he's ready to yep. go. <laughs> he's kind of playing in slow motion for a second here. Oh no, you should get up and straight into that up smash. It's uh, very hard to get that timing down. Why are you playing in slow motion? What's going on? Whoa, yeah. Oh, no, we're back. All right. We're back, yeah. That's a weird. Oh, no, it's still <laughs> a bit. I don't know what's going on. I just want to. I have to check and see whether or not the same thing comes through on the stream, but no matter. All right, getting around the ledge trap. No, sorry, the, the Nikita. I mean, the oh, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Just headbutting the Nikita. The Nikita's so I've, weird. I've never understood how Luigi's side B is supposed to interact with Nikita. Like sometimes it, I side B into it and I uh, like I'll die immediately. Sometimes I side B into it. Oh no, it's just. Uh, I think they're I think they're restarting. Yeah. No, fair point. Oh, and like that nerd takes game too. Oh, oh wait, no, it's Dork. Huge. Huge. Alright, yeah, it was super, super slow. Yeah. It was, it was weird, I've never, I've never seen that in Wi-Fi where, like, it's not choppy, but yeah. it's also not, there's no input delay, it's just slow. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that, that's really weird. So I think they're gonna go back in, just do a button test. Mm. See how we go. Well, they might be rejoining the arena, yeah. They're gonna jump out and jump back in. Just waiting for opponents. That's exciting stuff. Okay. So meanwhile, on the winners' finals as well, Jura is going to be going up against Seb Pro 101. Yeah. I get a feeling that Jura was one of the only people who's actually managed to beat Seb in a set, or at least come down um, near, done near close. Yeah. Most likely, I think so. Um, uh, actually, you can check, you can check head to head on this. Oh. So actually, it's interesting. Dork has mentioned that uh, the other stream was lagging as well, so it might actually be Nintendo Online. That's that's a good point considering it seemed really, really slow mo. And again, I don't I don't think that's an issue with um, anyone's particular internet connection. It doesn't seem like it is. Um, that's weird. Um. Jura has taken one set by the look of it. Damn. Well, it's it's one more than a lot of Australia can say. Yeah, but he's gotten really good, like close places to Sephora. Mm. He's actually played him offline as well, like three times by the look of it. Yeah, or a couple times. Yeah. So yeah, he took he took one slat off him at a cosmetic. Oh right, okay, yeah, I feel like I remember that. Um, but I know that because of the fact that Pacino and Seb also do play a lot offline. Yeah. Um, what's going on with this? What's, what's this connection? What are we doing, ladies and gents? It's, it's literally every time you interact. But yeah, it is taken game. Like every other time that he's played 
like with that pro, so it's been relatively close. Like it's been one three or two three at least. Mm. There you go. So I, again, it seems like uh, that yeah, games game counts might be next to even, but it seems like Seb is definitely good at clutching it out. So yeah, I wonder how it's going to go tonight. If internet works. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, a big if right now. Yeah. Hmm. Well, patience is a virtue. They, they might play it off stream. Yeah, try it. I'm, I, yeah, they're gonna try off stream. We might stream or try to stream Duras Pro, maybe. Whilst we're at it. Ooh. Hang on, whoops, my foot came dangerously close to turning my computer off there. I should have done that. <laughs> yeah, that that would have been fun. <laughs> Just a one-sided conversation for, for you for, for a couple of seconds. Um, yeah, let's let's see how we go. So Seb and Dura are going to be coming back. Uh, so Seb we've only seen once, Dura I think we've seen twice now on stream. Um, and yeah, so we might see that the match of a match of the century because I feel like it's been a hot minute since I've actually seen these two play against each other um, but I mean if, if what you said is true and I assume it is I assume you're not you know yeah. duping me um, <laughs> but yeah I, it seems like they've all been really really close so far yeah so that'll be super interesting that'll be exciting all right so Dura much smoother okay there's just a lot, of, a lot of communication going on in the stream chat, honestly. Please. Well, in the meantime, let's we'll, let's take a let's take a quick look at the chat as well. Let's see how everyone's going. Let's see how everyone's feeling. Uh, I see Charis in the chat. He said only matchmaking is Nintendo hosted, uh, if I recall correctly. The, he's Charis. He's dropping the knowledge bombs. Honestly, he, he knows he knows what he's talking about. Um, but, uh, what else is... What's hip-hop happening as well? We've had H-Factor jumping around in the chat as well. So, big fan as always. Um, Jura has finally entered the room. So let's Sepro. see... Sepro. Oh, Sepro closely follows suit. KK Slider. Anyway, oh, wait, today's Saturday, isn't it? I gotta... I gotta... Eh, I gotta, uh, take a look at the, the concept for, for KK Slider. <laughs> Jeez. Can I multitask? I don't... Oh, nah, I'm not, I'll, I'll do it later. <laughs> um, uh, much better. So it seems like the connection between Dork and Nerd, uh, it's it's choppy, it's choppy. But let's see. So what has Jura done? Recently? So yeah, June twenty twenty Couch Warriors League he got second out of one hundred and two, which is crazy. And I'm gonna. Yeah, I was gonna take hazard a guess and say that Seb came first, um, and my, my my hunch was correct. Um, now, meanwhile, uh, he also got third at Smash Link number thirty-six, which is awesome. That's the one that Deku Meister actually won as well, and yet Deku Meister um, yeah. won dropped. It's so strange. It seems like such a volatile uh, invitation we've got going on right now. Everyone's everyone's dropping. What's going on? Like flies. Everyone's, yeah, I know. Amiibo King made massive upsets. As well. Which, yeah. And I mean look, they, they made it to be able to show up on the uh, on the what's it called? The top graphic. twelve. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The top twelve graphic. That's what we're gonna we're gonna see. So Amiibo King is gonna have something to, to print off and uh, put on his wall for tomorrow. Um, that'll be super exciting for him. Um, but meanwhile, so the bands are coming through. Jura's banning Final Destination and Town and City. So Seb has gone for Pokemon Stadium 2. Ready? Let's take a look and see how it all goes. As we get, it, get into yeah. game number one of the winner's finals. Robin to Joker. So yeah, Rob will probably want to try and 
Three, keep him out, and then, two, like, if he gets one, a hit, we might be go. able to convert. Mm. Um, where, kind of, Joker will probably want to try and get in a lot more than Rob will. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and being such a such a large character as well, I mean, if, if yeah, Joker definitely. can get in on Rob as well, it's uh, like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something. Yeah. All right, nice. Waiting for that neutral tech. Oh, looking for those. Uh, I think that up air lock. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that happen on Wi-Fi, so I can imagine no. it's still working exactly the same, just a little bit more difficult. Yeah, definitely. Oh jeez. Oh, did the cancel oh, kill him? No, it didn't. Instead of letting him live for now. Drag down. Oh, that was a Huge. phenomenal conversion. And that's that's honestly that's the power of Joker being able to go for that short hop bait out something from Seb and immediately yeah. go for the smash's reaction too. That was uh, that was that, that, super that well done. That almost reminds me of um, Tweak versus. Uh, MK Leo. Mm. Like it was the opposite. Oh, yeah. Where he like called out the like exact mm. Yeah, no, I, yeah, he went for that uh, first hit of forward air and then just uh, catch yeah. the ball That was huge. Yeah. Man, MK Jura. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. <laughs> and I think one thing that I've, I've seen from Jura, um, and I assume we might see from Sepro later on in the set too is uh, the ability to call out specific options, assuming that your opponent will actually make that tech as well. Yeah. Because I'd say nine times out of 10, a lot of players have really good um, have really good instincts when it comes to finding jab blocks. Um, yeah, definitely. But it's always assuming that your opponent is like is too slow to be able to tech something. Yeah. So I think the next level from that is obviously being able to call out, not only you know will they tech, but will it be neutral? Will it be uh, roll out, roll yeah, in? Roll, yeah. So, yeah, I think the fact that uh, the fact that Jura actually got that um, was kind of, kind of sick. Um, and I'm sure we might see the same thing coming out from Seb later on. Because, I mean, when it, when it comes to his gyro setups as well... Yeah, um, definitely. He, he has what he's doing, so let's see. But Seb's still on the back foot for now. Yeah. Jura is playing, like, really patiently. And like really well. He's not getting hit by much, and then like when he gets advantage, he plays it really well. Yeah, it looked like Jura was looking for that up smash to try and connect immediately, but Seb got that uh, roll in pretty damn quickly. Oh, Arsene coming through? Not yet. We've got a little while to go. Oh, he's past the IR. Oh, good grab. Max Rage. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Match. Yep. Straight up going for it. Why not? Look, convergence. Alright, going for Just a quick. little bit of multi hit. The, the chugging up there. So, it's so good, honestly. Yeah, it but is. I did, really. I did see the fact that they changed Lilat as well, so that the up just doesn't pass through it anymore. Um. It does pass through, it just, uh, it used to pass through, like, almost at the center of the stage. Oh, right, okay. So they just made yeah. it a little bit thicker in the uh, towards the center. Yeah. Well, they made the whole stage a bit thicker, but it's right. still hit. You can still hit at the ledge. Nice. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, damn, what that Lilac do, though? Jeez. <laughs> Lilac be looking kind of nice. Oh, I don't know. Have... Tries to catch out the, uh, the neutral get up there. Yeah. Instead of going here, going. Ooh, <laughs> the stage is not there. Instead surviving against a Joker at 216%, this is immense. Yeah, it really is. It's not really looking good, but no, at all. Down throw. Nothing. Seb, all he does is just does a lap of Pokemon Stadium. Alright, goodbye. No, the oh, DI. Good DI. Beautiful Thank DI. You. Oh, he won't stand it. Oh, look for the back air. <laughs> it gets light hit. Oh, that might be it. Oh, <laughs> that drift was a mess. <laughs> Just moving to the left. I'll oh, finally take the stock, though. Oh. oh. Wow. Swings out a taunt there and then uh, quickly swipes away and we'll go. Hey, get out. We got a job to do. 
All right, double up here into the forward air. Beautiful stuff. Already at 50. All right, getting that grab. Really pushing his advantage now, too. Like, it's playing, like, really, like, in the center of the stage. Like, really strong. Great jump and air dodge, both grabbing that, uh, that Jara, as well as avoiding the laser, too. This, this is super clean play right now from Jura. Isn't that side beam maybe giving him priority or at least being able to pick up that Jaro? Yeah. Well, good Still cross through up. the shield. Yeah. Step at this stage, good. there's only 40% between them. But yeah. Both at 4 percent for sure. That back air, you can see the little spark there. That could have been could have been huge. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh I see it. Is that it? Yep. Platform. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Pretty close though. Yeah, he almost had the comeback. That's true, yeah. I think he got into about 120 or so. That was that was a pretty good comeback. Yeah. One thing that you notice, like, that's a big difference between, like, uh, Dork and, like, Dura, for example, is that Dura just holds on to the advantage, like, so long. Mm. That's that's true, actually. Um, yeah, meanwhile, Seb <laughs> just kind of, tr like, keeps trying to find those, like, small openings or small interactions. Yeah. Um and isn't really too fast with just taking like one or two hits. Even though Rob yeah. has the possibility to go for those like huge combos. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I think they often involve a lot of, like I'd say outside of the, the kind of classic zero to death, I think a lot of Rob's stuff involves a lot of reaction and a lot of kind of reach yeah. as well. So um, he's playing like, uh, he's stepping into like advantage a lot smaller. Yeah. All right, there we go, Is big that, start. Oh, no. That's yeah. it. Wow. Such a bad spot. Oof. Alright, Futura answering back with a couple of up airs. Alright, going for the gyro out of shield. Frame one option. Alright, the Nair potentially saving his life, I'm not sure. I'm expecting a roll and then it's fell off yeah, whenever you see the uh, kind of like the back and forth that these guys have when people yeah. miss deck and when they don't miss text as well, you can definitely tell that they've played against each other a couple of times. Yeah, definitely. Because um, they're starting to read some some pretty strange options. Um, all right, nice. Oh, no tech. Yeah, missing tech. Yeah. Not throwing, he also not covered in. like I think he covered all the tech options with the down smash. If he, he rolled away, away yeah. he would have. Yeah. Alrighty, okay Jura, alright, nice little start. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Deb's doing a good job of keeping him out though. <laughs> Alrighty, man oh man, oh. that's big damage. <laughs> yeah. We're chucking that Jura up. I guess it just kind of means that Seb can't use it for a little while. Ooh, okay, just in time, oh, Austin, yeah. coming out. I like that wait there. Oh, back here. Almost second. Alright, nice trying to clank with anything that Seb was going to chuck out with that neutral air. So hard to contest the neutral air of uh, both Joker and Austin. Oh, but good good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Goodbye. The man's already dead. Alright, now Jura. Oh no, he's, he's gone for that side B a couple of times. But yeah. It hasn't quite worked out for him. It always keeps just uh, poke poking into the battlefield platform. Yeah. Oh, okay. Going for a couple of down tilts. Oh, there it is again. Wasn't yeah. There anymore. yeah. Oh, okay. It gets a bit of invincibility that time, actually. Because um, of Arsene yeah. coming out to play. Yeah. Seb uh, <laughs> using as much of his fuel as he can. Ooh, close. Just not spaced close enough to the gyro to actually burn with it. Oh, okay. That was that was a kind of nice up smash because I mean, if you caught it, awesome. But if you didn't yeah, catch definitely. it and, uh, and and Jura kind of went for uh, an approach. Oh, wait, yeah. down throw. Oh, Ooh, great air dodge. Yeah, good match. 
foot. Good chase. Look. Whoa, Whoa, that's good. Cool. Oh yeah, my god. Huge. That was a really good, like, tech chase by Sentro. Mm, and then catching absolutely. the landing as well. So good. Man, oh man, I did not, <laughs> I did not expect that up smash to connect at all. Yeah, no. Alright, so same bands are being asked for. Seb also says, remember when people thought we would get female Joker? Now I'm sad. So, alright, Seb definitely focusing on the right things this match. Um, yeah, running it back. <laughs> Yeah, but we're going to run back, uh, same stage, we're going to be going back to the battlefield. Wasn't that an ad campaign? I think it was for Battlefield, they're like, I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs> Probably. It, it was just like a bunch of celebrities just like running around and be like, I'll see you on the battlefield. Look, the ad campaign wasn't that great, I'm not going to But, but, you know, that's besides the point. There we go. That's, a, that's an absolute classic. Yeah. They're probably kind of putting himself like a disadvantage though while doing But he didn't get he didn't get too much on this. Oh yeah, good weight too on that uh spot the Did he gun damage? Oh no. Getting our send just in time. It actually it actually might have uh might have been the thing yeah. that uh, yeah, gave him that damage though. See he was stuck in that animation. It looks a little small. Oh, Down throw up and see you oh. later. Yeah, that battlefield platform definitely helped. I think mean, if you got that grab any further off the left, you might not have been able to actually uh, convert that into the up air. Like, yeah. You had a little bit of room to run up and do it. Firm stuff, just good match Oh, oh yeah. great wait from yeah. Seb as well. Not only waiting out the uh, the Rebels guy, but also the air dodge in. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the layers of uh, of this winners finals. This this ain't your grandma Smash Bros. We got we got layers going on right now. <laughs> oh, good tech. Yeah. yeah. Edge guard. Great shield there, just get it. <laughs> the gyro. <laughs> oh, oh, that was sick! That was crazy! That was yeah. amazing! We just um, did a little drive-by gyro. Like, yeah, Sempro kind of like just pushed up with your car. And just took that gyro and went upstairs. This is uh, put Jiro in such a good spot, although he doesn't have uh, Sen for a little while, but Seb is going for more. <laughs> Oh, he's down throws. The, yeah, the same thing he did last time. Jiro's not going to give it to him. Uh, finding the tech though this time, Seb was uh, expecting a little more. Okay, Jiro's got about 60% Arsen, and Seb is looking incredibly weak on his last turn. Jesus! Oh, where, where went are we out going, very far. I, just think I, don't, I don't even need Arsen. Oh, good wall, wall jump. Wall jump? Nice, wait, oh, okay. Yeah, just resetting the tether. Oh, I, yeah, I like it as well, because he was stalling down there, waiting for uh, Arsene to come out, and now he's yeah, put him true. in a great spot to try and get a kill. Gyro in hand. Oh, oh no, but oh, Arsene yep. gone. Such a shame, but, but he's such definitely a got the good lead. option for Seb now. He, oh, without a doubt. He's got yeah. 100% on him. Seb Pro is converting. Ooh. Oh, good air, though. So close. That a lot of advantage. Ooh. Huge damage, but I sent out now. Oh, One beautiful hit. Death attack. Yeah, really just kind of getting him off. The I like that Seb's kind of trying to call out like immediate options as well. Now that uh, now that Jura might be panicking a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's super smart, but Jura's not falling for it. And Again, both no of them more are... Arsen. Yeah. Both of them are kill percent. Oh, beautiful Edo. What is that in? No. Looks like he might have died up a little bit. Oh, oh just reaches him! Just How did you Seb get... make that back? Run! That was actually so close. Watch that out. Oh, oh god, alright. So Seb taking game 
Uh, game number two, I think, as well. So close. I'm actually gonna be right back. I think they're yep. doing nerd turn up on the other stream. We might. Oh no, they're not. But anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, that's all good. Wait, are they are they dipping? Do, didn't we have another? Didn't we have another game? Am I am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. Let me. I gotta scroll up. So we had had two games on uh, on Battlefield. Uh, NFT. Oh no, I'm crazy. No, never mind. All right, we went PS2 the first game. I'm a fool. All right, so that was 3-0 for Seb Pro. Um, and that double, man, I can't believe that Juro, he, he couldn't, he couldn't clutch it out. But Seb, he ran away with that actually. How did he, how did he get it? He's a, he's a robber. That's hence the, hence the character. Man, that's crazy. Um, so who are we going to get next on the stream? Only time's going to tell. Um, meanwhile, I think we had someone else who's going on Sinnoh's stream right now. Let's, let's take a quick look at the bracket again. Let's see what we're up to. So, Nerd running through... So, Dork had to DQ, it looks like. It might have been an internet problem, unfortunately. Um, so, Dork is out for now. Turn up beating Lone Zen 3-0. Um, as well as Turn up beating Goon 3-1 as well. That's crazy. Um, so turn up and nerd are going to be playing on stream on this stream I think as well. Um, I don't know exactly when, but I would assume next, if I'm being completely honest, because no other game is ready right now. So nerd and turn up are going to be playing. Winner of that goes up against Dura in the losers final, who just uh, just went down in a in a very very flashy fashion to Seb Pro, who is now waiting in the grand finals. So the final boss is the big robot. It's a tale as old as time, honestly. Look, OzPR, what are you really supposed to do against him? It's it's intimidating. Um, and both online and offline, look, you, you can't really do much. But Jura made it look... The the thing is, Jura made it look possible. He made he made the case for the fact that the gods can bleed. Um, so let's see if Nerd, Turn Up, or Jura can actually make uh, that comeback. I'm back. Hello. Speaking of speaking of comeback, I literally just mentioned uh, comeback, and he's here. Um, <laughs> but so nerd and turn up are going to be coming up next. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I surely turn up isn't going to be going Bowser into into nerd. I don't know. But either way, the winner of that uh, is going to be going into Dura. So we might potentially see the run back of uh, winner semis between Dura and nerd, or uh, we might actually see. Possibly one of the biggest uh, biggest losers runs uh, from a turn up actually. This one yeah. when did turn up drop. Um, um, so turn up dropped to nerd two one. Um, yeah. So we didn't get to see that, but we now get to see that match actually. Um, Lone Zen turn up. Uh, okay, so. It seems like Lone Zone and Turnup might be going for a cheeky lag test for now, just to try and figure out what's going on. Yeah. Um. What music do we have going on in the background for? Uh... The arena, the stream. Right? Um, I think it's most likely the um that Kirby game. I can't even remember Ooh. what it's called. The 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 mouse one. Oh right, okay. I, so I think yeah. I, I just I've tuned in. I think it's uh I think it's something from Fire Emblem. Oh, it's um, a Fire Emblem. Swap, he's changed it. Houses. Yeah, he's, he's swapping oh. on us. He's swapping on us. Froggy, he's, a, he's, he's a cruel, he's a cruel but omnipotent one, isn't he? He's, he's, you know, he's controlling the music, he's controlling the stream, <laughs> he's controlling the bracket. What, what, what doesn't he have? He doesn't. He's, he's got, he's got all the power in the world. All right, let's see. Right, surely, random ditto. 
trying to, trying to catch up on all the hot goss in the Australian Wi-Fi. Oh, I don't know what's happening. Um, don't know. Might stay a random ditto. You never know. I hope we don't. I hope we don't see a random ditto. If I'm being completely honest. Um, yeah. But truly, random ditto while we wait. Oh, interesting. Let's see. Alternatively, we could actually be just be crazy and join the arena ourselves. Good. Oh wow. Well. What a Good. what a twist that would be. Grand finals. Yeah, the thug finals will be, uh, will be uh, one on two. You said versus think. both of us. What have you shot um, him in? Oh, jeez. All right, you, you've, you've forced my hand. Well, I've got Animal Crossing still open, I think, from earlier. Oh, Froggy, Froggy wants us to random today, but let me... All right, where is it? Oh, no, Smash Bros. is open. Oh, I've got the free download for Jump Rope Challenge. Oh, no, I've, sorry, guys. I'm, I've, um, got, I've got more important... I've got bigger fish to fry. Oh, what are... Wait, what's... I'm trying to... I think it's Lone Zen versus Turn Up that's kind of been... It's just being a little bit delayed. That's yeah. all good. But it might end up being a DQ. Alright, let's see what a, what a twist this is going to be. Well, the only problem is that I don't think I don't think other of us will be able to join without um without forcing one of the other players out. But yeah. Let's see. Fifteen messages here. Yeah. All right. Let's see. This is what a what a twist. Yeah. I've already. I'm too fast. I'm gonna keep... Should I? Surely I can. Oh wait, no. Did the did the arena just shut down? Oh no, Fro Froggy. Okay. Choosing a character. All right, random. Thank God. I got scared for a second. All right, we're in. We can't. We can't let this room die. I think we've almost sorted it out. All right. Oh, in my incineral. Now I'm playing through my my capture card, so there's going to be like a tiniest bit of input delay. I'm super intrigued to see how this is going to run. Oh, jeez. Alright. Oh, no. I can shield. I can't revenge that. Oh, no. I did. Oh, God. I wish I could take. Oh, no. Oh, it's gonna land with a nair. Oh, I dashed too far. Uh, I'll blame. <laughs> oh, he fell off it. Alright, well, surely, surely we have to go for the stylish stuff. Oh, that was too slow. Huge big damage. <laughs> oh no! Oh, he was scared. <laughs> no, that's so tragic. He <laughs> slowly floated down. Damage. Big damage. Oh no. Oh, I can't time it. Oh, is he dead? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> <laughs> no.
No, I just went for down B. That's as if. Still got an axe. Kid's got an axe. Oh no, this was your side. Oh my lord. My god, my forward smash. I like how <laughs> Incineroar just animates like after every single hit. When he lands a hit, he's just like, I'm crazy. He flexes. Uh, I want to make sure, do we have other people waiting? Yeah, we're um, about to, I think. All right, huge. All right, I just want to make sure. So, if, if people are ready, I'm dipping. I'm out of here. Froggy, oh, what did I get? Okay, rule, okay, huge. Yeah, you guys can keep playing, like, for now. Forever. Three, two, All right, let's see, let's go. see what I've learned from, from Ben Goldstream. <laughs> oh, no. That, why did that almost come into itself? Oh no. So how's your day? How, how are we feeling? Um, pretty decent. The big day, it's the invitation. Yeah. So have you, have you been, oh, have you been doing, to, uh, like, TOing stuff for all the other Wi-Fi tournaments so far? Almost. Um, time? not all of them. Uh, the last week we actually TOed, uh, all three events that are, all right. like, included. Because, yeah, um, the teams, like, their actual teams couldn't run it, but we ran it for them. Nice. So, yeah. Because it's like a joint effort from three different tournaments, which is uh, Smash Link, uh, ESO, or Yarb Sub. Right. Um, and. I was actually uh, curious as to which ones. Chads. And which ones? Yeah. Are... A thousand chats. Ah, oh, okay, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was actually. I was curious as to which ones this was actually supposed to be counting from. Yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we're gonna start getting people on. Ah, oh, okay, cool. Oh, so, so everyone's ready to go? Um, well, pretty much. Alright, cool, cool. Yay! I'll dip. <laughs> Sags, let's go Ben Gold. Huge. I'm crazy. He, he won, but uh, he I, I think... He was carrying the last bit of my stream. <laughs> Can you believe that Lone Zen has been joining for 40 minutes now? That is pretty yeah, crazy. Yeah, actually has. But... <laughs> Alright, I'll oh, yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah. God bless. Oh well. <sighs> anyway, moving on. This is... Loses semis, so... Yes, it is. This would be pretty huge. So... Yeah, definitely. I'm super interested to see how Nerd and uh, Turnoff are going to go, because they did play against each yeah. other. I think they played against each other on your stream, didn't they, Sino? 
Uh, no, didn't turn up. I think so. Yeah, it was. I, I, so yeah. either way, I think it was. Uh, it was two one for nerd. Um, so I'm super interested to see how the extended format, like the best five, how's that gonna go? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm intrigued. But let's yeah. see how it goes. Definitely, like, has the possibility to go game five, like, especially if they went two one. Ready? All right, I'm gonna go now. Stay the stream. Oh, that's see a good. Enjoy yourself. Yes, you too. See ya. All right, so we've got the, uh, the nerd Luigi, the classic into turn ups. Banjo and Banjo. Kazoo. Okay. I don't think we've seen it before. I can imagine oh, this is how the neutral is going to be. <laughs> this this is the whole game. This is it. And then there'll be a random. This will, there'll just be a random one to win. Mm, or a map, or just a misfire. Is it? I mean, yeah, well, <laughs> there it is. So yeah, I can imagine. Uh, similar to Joker, I feel like Banjo has the opportunity to play either like super aggressive if they want to, or they can also play super campy. Um, and against Luigi, it's it sucks, but you kind of have to play pretty campy with uh, with Banjo because yeah. he's, a, he's a pretty chunky boy. Um, yeah, definitely. And yeah, I don't know, you don't want to. No, just wait to get one. So, ooh, rip. Yeah. Yep. It's a shame. Not too much percent on turn up either. And he's like, not gonna get through that really. Or combo to this turn. Yeah. Catch can jump with the back end. A few less jumps, but no, it doesn't need to worry about it either. Uh, oh, okay. Big, big read on that, uh, on that short hop. I mean, it's a very, very long short hop, but uh, short hop. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, turn up uh, has a lot of experience against Luigi over in WA. Obviously, Jar oh. being uh, arguably, oh, actually no, I would say definitely the, the best solo Luigi. Um, yeah. And it's a bit of a contest between him and uh, and Luma as well over in WA. Yeah. Um, but meanwhile. That raw up beat on the Wonder Wing is enough to get stocks even, but percent is still definitely in turn up favor. And those those eggs as well did did no bonus jump. No, he didn't. Nice air dodge oh. and avoids the pivot grab too. So this is uh, this is now back to even for a very brief moment, and now it's back to oh my god, this fire back on stage in an absolutely miraculous way. Falling out of that dash attack. Yeah, maybe the rage just pushed it a bit too far. That's true. Alright, Nerd honestly just trying to add as much percent on as he can. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that oh that's it. Yeah. If you get sniped by the egg, it's so, so sad. I think you have to, you have to, um, uh, you have to chuck out a hitbox there to try and contest those eggs, because they're super easy to break. Yeah, um, definitely. But, yeah. That's the, that's the, oh, okay, sure. Yeah. Pulling out the jump with the Wonder Wing. Yeah. Oh, no punish. Okay, forward smash is deceptively small. Oh, good catch on the back air. Oh no, he's still out of jump. Nice, okay. Has to burn a Wonder Wing to get back. Yet another one to come back. Alright, so turn up only one left. Nice, the fireball to kind of keep him there in place. Into a side yeah. Move. Good damage, but again, not enough to seal the deal yet. Oh, the drag down into the back throw. Oh, See you good later. Back throw, yeah. I'm actually gonna have to go for dinner, but I should be back before. Maybe before the next set. I don't know. Yeah, that's all good. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah. No, no, it's right. Feel free to dip. Good. do what you gotta do. Cool. Look, yep. I've got, okay. I've got the Luigi. <laughs> I've got, I've got, got the commentary. Yeah, no, I'll, 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 yeah. I'll watch them for a little while. Yep, okay, see ya. Enjoy! Okay, so, nerd on the back foot for now. Uh, got a game lead for turn up so far. I'm gonna be sticking with the banjo as well, so we're not gonna be worrying about any character swaps, which turn up honestly is not, it's not gonna surprise me if he does end up swapping characters some point in this uh, in this set here. Um, he's, he's known for a lot of characters now online, um, well more than just his Greninja offline. Um, okay, going for a, going for a down taunt to start off the game. Even though Nerd is on the back foot in terms of his game count, he's not he's not afraid to go for a couple of cheeky options. And 
why not? Down tilt is the, oh sorry, the down taunt rather, is the strongest spike in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. You wouldn't have thought it, but I mean, it's like a frame 43 spike, I want to say, but strong. You get hit by it, you're dead. It's just that. Um, okay, going for the, oh no, that's so unfortunate. He goes for the ledge trump and ends up getting hit by the neutral, like dragged down anyway. And uh, that turned from really good to horrible for Nerd in such a short amount of time. Okay, so turn up, starting with more stuff. Down tilt, down tilt. Looking for that forward smash, but turn up. Can kind of stall there. Nair to Cyclone. Nah, he's still okay. He knows about a DI for that. He can DI out as well on that Cyclone. Um, and even if uh, even if you're off stage, I mean, it does put you in a bad spot, but at least it doesn't uh, it doesn't make you lose yourself. Down tilt sends such an awkward angle for Luigi. So long as turn up doesn't snipe his jump, it should be okay though. Oh no, yeah, again, trying to bait something out. It seems like Nerd is kind of sitting on that, that sort of first layer of, uh, of mix-up, so to speak. Um, just, you know, waiting for, waiting for like an immediate option um, from turn up. Turn up isn't giving it to him. The Cyclone's still not gonna kill Banjo. He's got Kazooie in his shelter, so he's, he's not going anywhere. Fireball, ooh, okay, going for a side B. Back throw, not gonna kill though. Alright, doesn't want to burn that jump. Okay, just going for a going for a raw misfire. So down throw. Down smash, man, that mash nerd up air, still not gonna kill either. Alright, F-tilt, not gonna kill. There's no jump. Absolutely not. That's a shame. Okay, jeez. Turn up is showing the fact that regardless of the uh, uh regardless of the character of Banjo, uh, great stock there as well. Got to guess it finally. Um, but despite the strange character, he knows this matchup pretty well. He knows exactly what's bad for Luigi and how he can find it. Double down tilt, but turn up, pushes himself too far away. And goes for a raw up there as well. 53%. I don't know if it kill, I guess it might. Looking for the up air, maybe to convert into something else. Nerd, he's really just swinging for the fences and especially if he's in disadvantage or if he's behind in stocks as well. It's dangerous. You don't want to do that. You've got to be careful. Banjo can blow you up. Oh, I'm going to get gimped by that up B. Goodbye. All right. Seals the deal. The up B has been used, so it might look a little stale, but he's still living, and that's all that matters. He's still got something. Down throw, up tilt, not going to kill. Doesn't even connect. Landing with the Cyclone. Uh, pretty smart there. Turnip hadn't chucked out his shield in a little while. All right, raw side B, nothing's coming out of it. And there puts him in a really awkward spot and he gets hit with the forward air. So turn up now, 2-0 in his favor. Man, I'm curious, I wonder what character turn up actually chose for game, uh, for the first interaction back in, uh, back before the top eight. Because Nerd ended up winning that 2-1. I wonder if he also went Banjo then. Um, I don't know, It's it's hard to tell. Um, oh, fantastic. Oh, we got, we got a feed from the from the, the boys at the back. Froggy sending me a message saying that it was Ness. Okay, awesome. All right, Seb in the chat as well saying Ness. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I apologize. I didn't know. Yes, Steven threw a game. Right, I see. Okay, well, there you go. So, potentially turn up is here and he's ready to, he's ready to swing for the fences yet again. see how we can do with this. Nerd swapping to Fox for game number three. three Interesting swap. Two, one, go. I haven't seen Nerd's Fox in the slightest, if I'm being completely honest. Um, but definitely a character who, uh, unlike Luigi, has phenomenal fastball and I guess as a result, maybe really, really good baiting and punishing options. Um, but I don't know. I'm tumble tell, I guess. See if Nerd actually has those combos. Yep, there's up airs. He's getting them. He's getting the damage. Alright, getting that shield out. Down tilt, looking for the forward air after that. Already we've got a lot of good damage um, by Nerd onto turn up. There, into the up smash. There we go. That's a Fox classic. So Nerd 
Worth his, uh, worth his weight in gold for not just the Luigi, but looks like the boss right now. He's getting those confirmed. That raw jump read from the side. Gets the tech. Go. Alright, nice using that upbeat and passing across the ledge as well makes it a lot harder for Nerd to actually hit him. That, uh, that famed down smash. Oh my god. The up smash catches him. The multi hit drags him straight into the center of that cyclone. Oh my god. Alright, starting. Dash attack. Ooh, bit, a, bit, bit choppy for a second there. I think, I think we're back. Poison Nerd still getting hit by that weak hit of the Wonder Wing. Go side B into the up tilt, gorgeous stuff. I'll turn up setting up around that platform whenever uh, whenever nerds off stage. Um, kind of swapping between that for ledge trapping as well as going you know, for the edge guard with those nares. Oh, trying to catch that grenade into the side B. This time turn up has the grenade in hand. Up and the down B or down air rather. Oh, that's put that in such an awkward spot. No way. Turn up getting the snipe. No, it's saying let's go. I think the rest of the crowd's going to be saying that too. F tilt immediately catching the jump in there. Good shield. But uh, Nerd bounces off the stage. Turn up doesn't get any punish. Yeah, turn up is really, really good at catching these jumps from, uh, from Nerd. Both as Luigi and as Fox too. Real down into the down air, straight into the up smash. So Nerd only 40% behind. Fox, a light character, a very light character. But, I mean, if he can push this advantage and potentially find... Oh, hang on. Good shine spike. Great shine spike. Oh, okay. Turn off getting that recovery out. But it's now Nerd's advantage right now. Oh, not going to be enough. It doesn't even connect. Shield comes out too quickly. Jab's coming through. Turn up now on the back foot. Well and truly 45% or 40% percent behind. Great catch with the back air. Goes for a spot dodge into down smash. Again, Nerd over committing. Uh, when he kind of knows that well, Fox isn't really going to be looking for any grabs here. So I feel like Turn Up can really just hold shield as long as he wants to. And he's pressured, but doesn't matter. Getting that conversion into the up smash. Fox wins. Here we go. So Nerd putting his name onto the board with his Fox. There we go. I didn't realize he even had a Fox. But... Yes, he's showing the world now, isn't he? My God, Banjo and Kazooie, they're just, they're both just clapping happily. Oh, Chisel, oh, no, never mind. <laughs> cool. All right, we had a, had a very brief cameo there from Chisel. But either way, let's see what we're gonna do. So. Um. We're gonna be staying. Let's see, Smashville staying. Yes, so we're sticking with Fox. Let's see what stage Turn Up's gonna choose. So, Turn Up swapping to Lucina. Really, honestly, Turn Up has just been giving us a cycle of like some of the biggest characters over in WA. Um, geez, maybe with the exception of Bowser. Maybe that. Maybe that's a reference to Leon. I guess I don't know. There's, there's always a story. It sounds like. Okay, so. Meanwhile, the Poppet Lucina coming through. Or the Pocket from Lucina, rather. Um, Alright, oh, catching that forward smash, but Nerd air dodging in, slide being straight to the platform, and catching with that uh, up air off the stage as well. Good stuff. Turn up. And spot dodge into down smash, it's not really working out for him. Um, and the turn up is ready for the punish with the uh, forward smash. Finally, getting that down smash and putting him in a super awkward spot. Catching the jump. Turn up. And he had a down smash, but the nair isn't connecting. Seems like, yeah, no, it's definitely overcommitting on, uh, on turn up shield. That bicycle kick sending in such an awkward angle, but not in the angle that Nerd wanted at all. Alright. Ooh, damn. Look for that first hit of Nair into a forward smash. Nothing came out. Nerd also tried to convert. That stage spike, super awkward. But, 
Earth player is still ready for it. Oh, again! Stage Spike really... Oh, not Stage Spike, but rather Shine Spike. Oh, he turn up in a super, super strange position, but he doesn't care about it at all. Turn up is still very, very firmly in advantage. Um, this time, speed. Oh, he sneaks in with the up smash and steals the next stock. Nerd, or rather turn up, is at 206%. Oh, Lord. It's like a stray summer breeze is going to kill him right now, honestly. No, just waiting patiently. Oh, looking for the shield breaker instead. What do you do? Back throw? No, we're near killing. It's Fox we're talking about. No. Oh no, he was stalling out there for way too long. There was nothing uh there was nothing turn up could do. Or rather there was nothing nerd could do. Jeez. Well that was a pretty convincing uh Lucina play there from turn up. Um well, very briefly winning 9-1, but only winning 3-1 actually. Um so, man oh man, let's see how the rest of this set Wait, sorry, rather the rest of the set, the rest of this tournament's gonna to turn out. We do have a 3-1 victory if we turn up. So that means uh, we are gonna see turn up facing off against Jura in the winners or the losers rather finals. And then let's see how this goes. Just chilling, just sitting patiently. We'll just, we've still got turn up in the room here. He's chilling, he's having fun. Jura is going to be entering very shortly, playing the patented Joker. Let's see what turn up's going to be bringing out for us this evening. Turn up's just having a think, he's having a big old think. Pardon me, sorry, I just shuffled a little bit closer to my desk, it made a very strange sound. Okay, so the Greninja is finally coming out from turn up. Interesting, okay. Haven't seen, oh, Gracio, he's back just in time for the losers finals. Oh, let's go. So we're actually seeing for the first time in a hot minute, we're seeing turn up bringing out the Greninja. Oh. Well, this is just crazy. Huge, exactly. Wants to win. What a, what a try hard. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Alright, let's see. So both players choosing the stages, it's always exciting. It's, a, it's an integral part of this game, if I'm being completely honest. Smashville has been banned by Turner. Uh, let's see what Jura is going to be going as a response. Jura, Jura, what are we going to do? Field days too. Alrighty. FD, TNC. Town, yep. Alrighty, lovely. So, turn up, town and city. Jura, let's get into it. The losers final. Best of five, let's get into it. So, Jura on the Joker, the patented Joker. Greninja on a very rare site of his, uh, of his online yeah. Greninja. I don't know how this That's is going to go. Three, two, one, go! All right, but let's see. So already, turn up starting yeah. on the back foot. Uh, yeah, there, there is definitely a couple of conversions. Oh, yeah. Really. Actually, 51 from three hits. That's, that's crazy. That's yeah. Big damage. It is. But I sent out, like, very soon. Meanwhile, the turn up is using, using some pretty decent yeah. movement. He's exclusively landing with uh, with combo options as well, just going down with those yeah. down with those nares, or maybe potentially trying to catch jumps with back air. Um, okay, an up B, that should spell death. No, it's a little bit hard Thank because God, of how the no. drift is. Yeah. 
Kira, meanwhile. Looking a little west, west way. Doesn't have any Arsene to speak of. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Forward smash. Or forward, uh, forward Yeah, effort. yeah. Woo. Oh, good back air. Yeah, it's only that. dead though. Oh, great air does too. Just dodging the back air, trying to pull out his jump. Double jab into a pivot grab, nothing is going to come from it. Turn up is kind of just doing a little bit of what Nerd was doing earlier, just trying to go for immediate oh, stuff, oh, but this time. Yeah, that was great. Big pivot grab into forward throw. I didn't actually know that Greninja's forward throw kind of kill. Yeah, neither. I, I look, admittedly, Jura was at 150 or so. Yeah. Um, but he wasn't really at the ledge either, so. No. Seems like pretty, pretty decent option. Yeah, definitely. Because I, I don't think Greninja gets a huge amount out of his throws, I think, except for a couple of no. early percents, maybe. Yeah, yeah, early percent down throw, I think. Oh no, he has a down throw, um, like if they don't do anything, you do down throw. Yeah. Alright, oh, okay. Yeah. But they can air dodge or jump, so you can, like, pull out what they can Yeah. And it still sends it, it, I guess it does send it a pretty awkward position, but it throw it straight into the down air. Yeah. Pretty even now. Absolutely, yeah. I, I do have the patience from Juru as well. Um, he he yeah. sometimes is just kind of running up and just waiting to see what Turnup's going to do. Because if he overcommits or anything like that... Yeah. Turnup's also kind of playing like Ace as well. That was almost death as well. Close to Blast Zones in the PNC. Ooh, oh, damn. Oh, so close. Oh, yeah. Great catch. Once again, another catch at the back there. Stealing out yeah. that stock, so up taking a pretty commanding lead. Fifty-one percent on the yeah, uh, on the frog. I didn't realize that uh, Greninja actually had a green and gold skin as well. That's uh, you know, mad respect yeah. for the uh, big Australian. Awesome. <laughs> uh, I think not uh, too many. You're in advantage now. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Now that he's now that he's spent exactly. Now that he's spent turn up on the ledge. Absolutely. Not as much oh, yeah. as the blinds. I forgot about Ultra Up there. That's a, that's different. That's a big enough. Oh yeah. So it seems like the the slightly weaker charge on uh, on Water Shuriken has a much yeah. longer range. Um, I think so, yes. And it's a bit faster. It's a lot faster. Oh! The gun's catching. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, definitely. Even though they did uh, nerf those, those guns a little while ago, it's yeah. still, still a great edge guarding tool. I mean, if you catch a jump, it yeah, doesn't really matter, how, uh, really matter how like wide it is. Yeah. <laughs> a lost jump is a lost jump. Yeah. Like Alright, going for that rapid jab. It's, uh, pretty good at just kind of getting rid of Arsene. Much more oh, great call out. Didn't have Arsene though. Yeah, like lost Arsene just when he probably could have killed. Oh, good. good rebel scars. Yeah. And Almost uh, bringing back. Ten. Exactly, yeah, bringing him closer back. Down tilt. Oh, oh. Here we go. Really good confirms, yeah. I feel like um, Turn Up was playing a lot less uh, committal mm. than like he'd run in. But then he'd realize when something wouldn't necessarily work, and he'd kind of back off a little. Mm. But like he played his advantage when he got it really well, like getting damage and stuff. And I'd say at the same time that that kind of uh, that kind of works out if he was uh, in the advantage the whole time anyway, or rather had the had the lead the whole time. Yeah, but, um, definitely. Whereas I think Jura had to kind of swing for a, a couple more, slightly more committal. But um, yeah. still not not necessarily like phenomenally unsafe, but you know a yeah. couple more leads just to try and um, even it out like that. Uh, you know, air dodge into the forward smash. Um, yeah, or, or other ones like similar to that. Definitely pretty close. Mm. Three, two, one, go! Alrighty. So, what this character on FD? Going here for game number two. Yeah. Already starting Damn with it. that. Yeah. 
Well, Ninja has the jumps as well to be able to get all the way up there to yeah, potentially definitely. try and catch a, catch a yeah. slightly lazy option. Yeah. You gotta, be, you gotta be paying attention both in the air and on the ground with this character. Yeah. Invade. I think, I want to say, the largest jumps in the game. Maybe behind um, Falco. Yeah, I think he has uh, the. I think they have set somewhere too. Yeah, I, I think so as well. Oh, okay, Jura looks like something crazy. Oh, okay. Sen going now. Yep. He's got the advantage. Oh, no, go, send a snake again. Where's the gentleman? Ooh, I'm gonna snap with Aha. Oh, here he comes. Oh, oh. wow. That, uh, the fact that that goes, that kind of puts me to slow motion as well, both characters in the yeah. same way. So that's, uh, that's a pretty good approach, to be honest. Oh, bro. Yeah, kill. Yeah, yeah wow. Go, you heard he hit first. This first, like, first time I was like, maybe it was just sus DI, but no, it kills. Mm. Unless he's, like, trying to DI out down for him, but I don't know. Essentially, I mean, we've definitely seen kills fast, so I don't think it's yeah. too bad to DI. Yeah. It, uh, almost waits oh, it out. so close. Oh, a really good call out. No, yeah. They're just throwing at him. <laughs> crazy. Oh, conversion. Oh, that was hard. Really the second hit, yeah. I think it might have been the, the pivot F tilt might have just uh <laughs> might have been enough to push him off the stage. Yeah, even maybe. if uh, even if he's got a neutral pack. I be kind of just keeping him off him at the moment. Oh, oh just too slow on that down. Alright, Shadow Sneak finding his way back onto the stage. Alright, the water away, then coming back in. Yeah, no. Oh, really good punish on that. And tried to do down guns, but really good punish. Oh, good air dodge too. Not finding anything out of that down tilt. Or oh, dash attack rather. But yeah, um. Kana, playing a little bit more middle now. Mm. He's got the lead as well. Oof, oh, yep, good drag good. down. Yeah, finds that up air, um, catching Kana up and ripping in. Uh, we can start another one. No, it doesn't get the forward pair. That's almost jab. nothing gone with the, yeah, the whole jab, yeah. Turn up the uh, ledge hang is super, super low. Yeah. Oh! Oh, that's it. That's in the back. Alright, oh, yeah. does it like such as like the most random spots? Which I, I, it, I mean, it's it's a good thing, but it's so weird. Catch it to your start. Alright, here is used the guns there as well, stopping turn up from uh, yeah. one too many uh, it guards. Oh, oh they give it a play. Yeah, jump back. The water kunai just gets sliced. Kind of playing game one. That was pretty close. Oh wait, no, that's game two, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, so we're going yeah. into yeah. number three game right three. now. Three. Yep. I'm I'm intrigued. You're switching, switching to character. Okay. Back to town. Um, what are we really switching to? What other characters did um did you actually have? Um, two why do like, I? Why am I thinking of Pike? I don't know why. Who else? Who is the Ike player? Um, is I mean, from just Melbourne? players. Or... Oh, Ike, uh, Zaki. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, I haven't seen Zaki for a while. That's why. No, um, yeah, yeah. I think his uh, switch broke or something. Toon Link. Here we go. <laughs> right. Uh, well, look, that it do it. If you don't have a switch, then you can't really play the game <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. Unless locals are a thing, but they are not yeah. a thing in Victoria. That is for damn sure. Yeah, no. Definitely not. Three, two, one. Anyway, game number three. Yeah. yeah. The. Let's see. 
So have you seen much of uh, Ojiro's Two Lanes before? What are your, what are your um, thoughts on it as a, as a fellow oh, too? A little bit. Not recently. Right. Like, I haven't played him in a while. And we play a lot different to each other, so... Um... But... Like, the similarities. Like, he'll try and play active, like, using his shield. Mm. If he hits you with, uh, bomb on your shield, then he'll call out, you know. Pretty much okay. you don't want to jump out of shield and stuff like that. So that's kind of more, that's more general. Mm. I mean, already, like, he's, he's looking pretty, pretty clean on the yeah. workshop, at least. I think it might just be, I guess, kind of growing pains, or like, you know, adapting pains, so to speak. Yeah. Um, so we might see uh, a pretty quick turn up and turn up, but... Yeah. It's going deep for it. it. Oh! Um, oh, so close. One thing Same to well. also mention is, um... Greninja can also spike the recovery with the uh, counter. Mm. Oh uh, yeah, true. Yeah. Um, ooh, almost the same. I have to point out as well, just at the very beginning of that stuff, the amount of shield pressure that Jira was, was applying on turn up was phenomenal. Yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta say. Yeah, Toon Link does that really well, because he can use, like, all three of his vectors to just mm. apply shield pressure. Plus his tilts are relatively safe. Okay. Um, and like Nair's really safe too. Oh. Good up smash though, yeah. I think that's jump right. Great. Okay, starting with a Nair. Down to a grab, yeah. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I think the block, I think he hit himself with bomb with actually save. Yeah. Is truly the biggest of galaxy brain moves. <laughs> yeah. He hit himself intentionally. Um, another thing with Shuriken, because it's a multi-hit, uh, Bomb bounces a lot off it. Ah, okay. So it isn't really a great move to throw at Shuriken. Just sort of clank with it. Uh, it like bounces on it. Mm. Like kind of drags it along. But you're more likely to hit yourself. Like you throw it in the hmm. Alright, good air dodge, doesn't want to get hit yeah, by the back air. Yeah, recovery. Just holding onto the top, oh, yeah, still, yeah. Just catching the air dodge. Turn up again, now, completely happy just uh, to yeah. do a trick with these. I mean, uh, what turn you up, at ledge, turn up is a cool sound, like to get the bomb down. Hmm. Landing, Ooh, yeah, yeah, landing a little, yeah. a little too aggressively. Jura immediately ready with that bomb before there. Ooh. Ooh, looking to end the stock now. Up smash. Trying to catch each way out. Down tilt. Um, good uh, drop down back air there. Again. Oh, once again, more bombs to board. Yeah, in. he's controlling his <laughs> advantage really well. Oh, I could have. Closer. That might have been dead. A B sending a pretty yeah. good angle, but still not going to kill. Back throw also like kill his percent. There you go. <laughs> As I mentioned it. Well, well what a coincidence. A really, really good pattern, I think. I think. Um, I feel like. With uh, uh, Joker, you want to play more in the air, where Toon Link can play really grounded. Like with bombs, just like hold shield and kind of wait, wait out like for whatever option they're going to pick, and then punish it. Yeah, it seems like Toon Link has a really good op like, has definitely a lot of good options to try and punish um, aggressive aerial approaches. Yeah, definitely. Um, like that boomerang just being yeah. like a constant presence, the bomb as well. Um, and yeah. I mean, we saw, we saw the aggressive down now coming out from turn up, and he just converts that immediately. Bomb there, yeah. done. Yeah, but, um, he has really good. He has really good ground speed, so he can get out of like your ranges really easily. Okay. He has the fastest One, ground speed out of all three of the ones. Yeah, fair enough. Actually, uh, I guess uh, I guess it wouldn't surprise me. He's a, he's a speedy little 
It's been a little one, isn't it? <laughs> My god, look at him go. Keep an eye on that, he's, he's a... I wonder how much faster... Is he faster than Grifter? Um, probably not. I... Probably not. I feel like Grifter is pretty fast. Oh no, the bomb just gets knocked away by the uh, multi yeah. hit. Once again, no yeah. jump. Oh, looking for the low recovery. I mean, yeah, if turn up can find a really early stop oh, here, that's the that Shuriken just kind of dead. bullying him with Shurikens right now. I guess that's the advantage of those platforms too. You, yeah. you, it's, it's much, uh, it's much smaller space to try and cover. Yeah, definitely. Plus, you get the uh, like the drag down, up smash as well. <laughs> For Ninja. Yeah, see, like, if you threw the, uh, bomb at his heel. Woo! Oh, almost, so close. But yeah, he'll, like, throw the bomb at his heel, recast bomb it. Uh, also call out a jump at the same time. Mm. Kind of thing. Oh, that could have been dead. If he called out the other knockback. Ooh. Oh, it's like... Oh, yep. That'll do it. You're taking the lead for game number three. Or four, rather. Yeah. Oh, really good, like, casual. And, and shield pressure as well. Yep. Fair enough. Maybe <laughs> we'll turn up just uh, playing around with that giant log there. Up still on shield, that's exactly. great. Right. Alrighty, but Jura still running away with his stuff. Yeah, definitely. Now. Oh, damn. Alright, he's ready to bomb off the boomerang as well. Whoa! Such yeah, an active was... up there. The battlefield, like, top platform is not very fixy. It was high enough for that to actually kill. Alright, up smash, good bit of damage. Oop, jab block. Ah, oh, just Oop. the ledge stuffing it out. Yeah, just too far away, or too close rather to the ledge. Yeah. I wonder if that could have that. Surely that was the same. Yay. Drew a bomb in hands, nothing converts off yeah. of it. Uh, Turtle's been pretty good at just kind of tapping his shield uh, to make sure the bomb doesn't do it. Yeah, definitely. Out. Oh my god, uh, again! Yeah, yeah again, that ledge is stuff. Oh, really good oh, smash. Oh, stay. Oh, is that it? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. well, that, yep, that is definitely it. Yep. This is possible. Oh, the oh, you can see the upstep down the boomerang. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're all looking for the ledge grab. Oh, up B. Yeah, just yeah. Be good, yeah. Ooh, double side B to recover? Okay. Yeah. Oh, he wants he wants to kill. I don't even think that up smash would actually kill. Yeah, yeah most things will most things will kill now. Oh hang on. Back there. This sound gonna risk it all. Oh, it does. This no. could be it. That no could be jump. it. Yeah. Oh doesn't get back! So close. Just taking game through. Oh. That was a beautiful match. Yeah. So close. Through taking third place. And now, uh, turn up going up against uh, Sepro. So that's been it as well. We've seen Super Ninja coming out in fine form online, despite the fact that, uh, I mean, look, now that we've got to this stage, and maybe Turnup just tw checked his Twitter and he's like, oh, hang on, let's look at this prize now. Look at this prize book. Oh. <laughs> that's, some, that's some big money, I gotta... It's, it's gotta time to turn up. He's, well, exactly. <laughs> he, he looks he looks at his Twitter, and then he looks at his own tag, and he's like, uh, I can't believe it. we got to do it. So, Seb is on his way, as judged by the fact that he just said, OMW. But what could that mean? Probably on his way. On my way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Froggy's just tweeted that we've got an all ground zero OCE grand finals for the Australian. Oh yeah, we do. There we, we do. go. My lord. That's a, that's an interesting one. I mean look how uh the, the winner 
you know, stays with Grand Zero, the loser. Yeah. <laughs> Ground <laughs> Zero have... wins people away. Yeah. All right, both. Hmm. Okay. Um, is he sticking with the Greninja, or is he? Ah, uh, no, he's Bayer. cycling. Bayer. He's cycling with a bayonetta. He does. I think he has a bear. No. I mean, for the grand finals, he sure as hell hopes so. I. I think I think I've seen it once or twice. I don't know. I've seen too many of his characters. <laughs> but yeah, definitely a good matchup against Rob. Um, Ready? they're kind of just calling him out, I guess. One of those things you're gonna—it's one of those things you're really gonna struggle with if you solo main a character. For sure. Mm. Three, two, one, I'm go! curious to see how uh, how turn going to use the uh, both bats within, but also um, just, yeah, uh, Beto's down B as well, trying to pull out any projectiles yeah. he Ooh, Is that it? Cool. Okay. It's the air dodge though. Oh, hang on. All right, <laughs> turn up trying to yeah. turn that uh, against them for a second. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be good to see how. Uh, but like whether he can his combos, like how well he does it. Because um, Bayer also got buffed too, so uh, her combos work a lot better. Yeah, that's true actually, yeah, it's, it's a lot harder to fall out of them with, uh, with SDI. Oh yeah, um, also with um, up till up air, it might not be true on frame 1. Well, it's not like frame 1 out, because he has frame 1 air dodge. That might be dead. That's it. Right. Alright, turn up taking the, taking the first off despite the set looking pretty commanding in the first, uh, the yeah. first half of it. Oh, right, that's well, it. Yep, there you go. good catch. Clean. Yeah, simple, simple mind games there. So, uh, leaving the gyro and uh, pulling out the roll. I mean, yeah. it covers so many options though as well, you can't really... Yeah. I guess you have to get up attack the um, gyro when you're about it. Alrighty. Here comes the cutscene. <laughs> yeah, no. Air does so much. Especially if you get those up airs and you get like you can string like one or two up airs together. That was a strange down beat. I wanna say it was because Seb had the jar in hand. Oh yeah, maybe. Trying I, to because I, uh, I think he was trying to call oh, him yeah. out, like uh he's dropping that. Oh, oh damn he's very dead after that down air. Yeah, wow. That down air's huge. It is, yeah. The fact that it's a it's a multi hit as well. Is, oh, whoa, that's bad. Um, I kind of I, I don't want to know what um Mayor with uh, with gyro like combos. Like. <laughs> what can probably what do? Really crazy. Oh no! Charging the guns. Ooh, okay, so it's time to start again. Oh, 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 oh no! Finish it. He just wanted to end it. Ugh. Except only now 30% behind us. Yeah. And that, that, that damage is going to be, uh... Side. Combo side, yeah. Mm. You're only going to land one hit. Seb, Seb. No, 20% is fine now. Good. Is that it? No. Every single time oh, any one of them actually lands an attack, it's it's always a question of like, is this gonna yeah. be the if that ends it? Because <laughs> both of them have so many Yeah, they have yeah. so many options that will straight up kill. Or so many combos rather yeah. that might set up to a kill. Yeah, definitely. Nice getting that edge oh. out. Good SDI as well. Oh, you can see the uh Back oh, air. That's worth the back air, yeah. Phantom footstool. Oh! Classic. Down out, yeah. Yeah, that's only gonna kill the upwards. Alright. <laughs> Up throw. Not gonna kill. Oh, so Gyro's close. Still coming out. Oh, oh look at the grab. Grabbed. So close. What have you gotten out of the grab? Um, 
you have forward okay. throw that kills, it would kill it 100%, but that off air definitely gonna take it. 100%. Win. Even with good, uh, good DI, definitely take it. Mm. You have forward throw at ledge, it'll kill like 140, 130. But that's about it. Yeah, from center stage on uh, on FD, I look, I liked what he was going for, but it wasn't it wasn't gonna lead yeah. up to a kill, unfortunately. Yeah, definitely. Bit of, bit of damage though, why not? Yeah. And good positioning as well, I guess. All right, so the bands have come out for Battlefield and Yoshi's. We don't want triplats. Do not want a single triplat in here. So we're going to go to yeah. Smashville. As a result. I still think this could this could very very easily go either way. Um, yeah, definitely. I think yeah. If that stock, if that first stock was anything to to tell the rest of the set by, I think it seems like both players have a super super good grasp on uh, what each person's kind of trying to go for, but also how to get out of a lot of their stuff too. Yeah. Um, although turn up did end up stealing the first stock. Um, oh jeez. Yeah, immediately DIing downwards or SDIing downwards. Seems to be the, uh, the way to do it for now. Not that I'm writing notes or anything, but uh, that seems, <laughs> seems, to be the way, seems to be the way to do it. Um, haven't seen much of guns as well coming out from Bayonetta, but I think that's because yeah. Seb can probably both use his laser and his gyro yeah, to just kind of point them out on the ledge. Yeah. Alright, starting. Like 80, 90 damage there. Not bad. Alright. 129. Go for a raw, raw catch on the uh, on the up smash. Yeah, well, I mean, it covers jump and if you drop a super, so pretty yeah. decent option. That's true, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. The nair <laughs> again, raw oh. side B. What's going on? Oh, so close. Is he gonna catch it? Regrab? Oh no, good over like extend. Turn up once again, flying around the ledge. I don't know. I don't know where he's going. Yeah. <laughs> no one, no one can predict where he's going to go. So speaking of, oh, Sephiroth trying to predict the, uh, trying to predict the edge or the down B rather. Nice parry. Stay. Nice parry again. Jabs. Did they get a little stronger? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, this could be bad. Yeah, no. The net. Yeah. Edge guard though. Oh, yeah. Grab oh, that. Yeah. Catch. Yeah. Big old, big old fists there. What's, what's her name? Is it M Madonna Butterfly or something? I don't know. What? Whoever, whoever it is, the, the one with the big fist that she summons and the up smash. That's that's all yeah. Rob, baby. He's not summoning anything. Even it up. Done Sent something through again. Take 50 damage here. Does not have anything? Oh, the air dodge managed to make it back. Yep. For some reason, despite how hard it is for Vayner to snap the ledge, her air dodge is atrocious. Yeah, it is. It really is. I don't know, I don't know why they did that, but. Cool. Turn up pulling out an air dodge, but. There. Total up smash on that platform. The shield looking punish. very small. No, no punish, okay. I think I'm rolling, maybe. Yep. Turn up, definitely keeping this competitive, though. No. Seth's being really, really good at mixing up his DI, too. Yeah. He's, he's swapping, uh, swapping sides pretty frequently, considering how. Yeah, he is. Considering how often you have to also swap your own side with Bane out of you know, swap between the. You know, side B and the other side, side B. Oh. Yeah. It's pretty hard to follow. So, Pro's also like out of uh, combo positions, so. Ooh. He's just gonna fall out if you try. Mm. Oh, Ooh, nice. That is. That's a big catch. Yeah, well yeah. done from Seb. 210%. Wow. Well, Great back end all the way down there. 
And the good thing about that one too is the fact that Rob goes pretty much horizontal when he goes for that back air as well. So he's yeah, not really going to well. worry too much about dying off the bottom. No. And he has really good recovery, like still. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like that, honestly, that's probably the main point too. <laughs> the fact that he can he can go that deep, but also make it back with, uh, with the amount of fuel that he's got. Yeah, definitely. So let's see what Seb is going to be pulling out for game number three. Um, it looks like turn up is going to be switching, so I would assume we're going to see a swap to Greninja. Um, but I'm curious, I don't know. Ready? Okay, alright. Turn up pulling out the Mystic Game and Watch for game number three. So uh, it's beginning to look a lot like a Victoria Weekly right now. Three, two, Let's go to a game and watch. Let's go. see how it goes. Yeah. Game three. This could be it. Yeah, well, I, look, you'd think that Seb has a lot of experience against uh, Game and Watch with Extra being uh, yeah, definitely. one of the best um, in the biz and also Game and Watch. Yeah, definitely. Game. So I wonder what. Uh, I want to see if we've got any Game and Watch specific tech for Seb. Um, Literally, I wonder what turn up actually has. Yeah. I've never seen it before. No, never. Pretty even so far. Mm. Good catch on the gyro there. Alright, look, look at the edge. Up. Yeah. Just out. Oh, really good play too. Just keeping him with him. I like that potential bait out as well, just by going, uh, chucking the uh, gyro down directly in front of him. Just to kind of wait, you know, potentially bait out a uh, dropping shield or an aggressive option to turn up. Yeah. Um, but nothing came oh. out, but those yeah. bombs. My lord. Yeah, Bonsoir. so quiet. Good air dodge too, he's not actually going to be hit by the upstairs. Good upstairs. Turn up, yep. oh my lord. Oh, he's got a bit of, got a bit of movement. With the landing yeah. off the back air. Definitely kind of keeping advantage. Just holding like center stage. Oh my god. I put up throw. Oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna right. do it. Very much gonna kill. And one watches white light, so <laughs> definitely gonna kill. Roll in as well. So no gyro punish there. Turn up still sitting only on 22%. Oh, I'm trying to catch roll in. Really good pressure though. Trying to get the pressure the platform to not be too major. Beautiful parry into the up <laughs> against yeah. nothing so out of the air. Oh, oh whoa! No. And he, the up smash flashes with his uh, with his up air, and yeah. that's going to be enough to, to turn up to actually just steal that. Because it's also sure. um, it has intangibility. It does, yeah. Okay. And I think yeah, it, as soon not. as he actually swings, like he, he just becomes yeah. invincible. You, you can't you can't contest him. Yeah, it, it breaks my heart. Because, I mean, you can't oh. even grab the guy. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. So, trying to swing high for that up air. Really <laughs> Dragging him back up the stage. Go for a grab. Up throw up there. Putting on tons of damage. This is definitely look, looking like that up game. Down smash not being a sweet spot. Oh jeez. So just completely overshooting it. Oh, there you Ooh. go. Finally catching the ball thing. back oh. in with the down smash. That pro might be able to make a comeback. Ooh. Still keeping the pressure up in the sky. Alright. No, not going to be going out for a forward throw. Or forward air throw. It's spot dodge once again. Yeah. So putting those. The dash attack. The hard hitting head. 
It's set up really putting pressure on right now. Oh, good parry on the Nair as well. I'm only finding a jab out of it, I'm not actually connecting it either. Yeah. Gyro and Nair. Oh, dropping it. Find the down throw, up tilt. Oh no, the air dodge. Oh. He's safe Quick for now. Game and Watch is really light, so definitely not. Oh, oh so close. But he's, he's too high in percent. Yeah. Down tilt, nothing. Oh, he's rolling. Oh, finds the parry on the landing hit as well. Is that oh, it? Misses the tech down smash. Still so not going to Looking for the snipe. Yeah. Oh, oh, he no. gets deed. Oh, no. That's so tragic. Oh, what a way ledge. to end it. Oh, oh my god. That was so close. Oh, my heart. My soul. That breaks oh. my heart that it ended on an SD, but regardless, what a well fought game there from Turner. Swapping to the Mr. Game Watch and honestly scaring the yeah. hell out of Seb, if I'm going to be, you know, I can't lie here. That was, that was a yeah, really, definitely. really good effort. That was so close. But uh, but alas, the, the Invitational, it's done. Over, yeah. Seb for taking first place. Absolutely. Yeah. Whoa. There we go. Oh, check. Froggy, the stream is it, ended on our side, so I think that's that's all from uh, from us. But um, yeah, yeah, great show. It's it's been an absolute pleasure commentating with you, man. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's been a pleasure having you here too. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, well, take a look in the top left. You've got you've got our twitters. Take a take a look. Give us a follow. Why not? Yeah. Um, I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their uh, Saturday night. Have fun. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a bit of dinner and uh, I'll yeah. talk to you guys later. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, where's where's this where's this button? What am I looking for? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm like I'm like a bloody old man. Jesus. All right. All right. Well, I'm I'm out for now. But uh, have fun. If if there's anything else we need to mention, obviously yeah, Froggy um, as well. Thanks for putting it all together. Yeah. Uh, thank you to the TOs. Also those who donated to the uh, to the prize pool. Mm. Well. Um, also, uh, Lane and, uh, Blizzy and Dags, uh, for holding their events. Um, and everyone in the Smash Link team as well. Um, I'm trying to think of this. It's probably something I'm missing. Um, Zinno and Froggy streaming. Uh, so thanks to them. Mm, I absolutely. think that probably covers it. I feel like I'm missing it. Oh, thanks for everyone for playing, I guess. That's true. The, we wouldn't, you know we wouldn't the, have the, real the win tournament. Is we wouldn't have the tournament without the competitors. Hmm. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, I guess. Thanks for watching the stream. But yeah, that's, I think that's it. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll wrap up for now. But uh, enjoy the rest of your nights, everybody. Um, yep. And hopefully we might see you at the next, uh, the next Wi-Fi tournament. How about that? Yeah. See ya. Alright, talk to you guys later.